Hello? Hello, hello, hello? Uh, I can only get this working on YouTube today, but uh, I'll talk about that a bit more later. Welcome, Islands of Insight. I just built a new PC about 30 minutes ago, so this is probably a little bit scuffed. I'm still trying to get everything set up, but honestly, if this is a flawless stream somehow, then I'm going to be very happy. I literally bought and built a new PC just to run this game on max settings because that's how stoked I am to play this. I feel like this is the ultimate live stream, and I'm only in one ear. I can fix that. Which ear? Um, let's see if I can uh, go to... Nope. Why am I only in one ear? Can you explain this? Only in the left ear? Someone said that I'm only in the right ear. Your headphones are backwards. Um, let me see. What the fuck? No, I... Th oh. Wait, what? Wait, uh, that actually is a little strange. I'm gonna hit you with a cool mono. Um, and I think we're just gonna roll with it like this. Uh, there's gonna be a bit of delay, but we're gonna see if this is a little bit better. Um, hopefully... <laughs> this is not ideal. I actually would prefer that it's not mono, but uh, whatever, I guess. Oh, sh that match might be a PC setting. Then, uh, it works. Okay, okay, okay. Mono is better. Love to see it. We all have mono on this glorious day. As I was saying, uh, it is nice to be live, and I'm gonna solve some puzzles because I don't think I'm gonna make a video series of every single damn puzzle in this 10,000 plus puzzle game, but I want to live stream pretty much all of it. Uh, how's it going? I use light mode. Welcome. Anyway, I hope the uh, audio is wonderful. Now, I'm streaming in like 18,000 bit rate, so it actually definitely looks nicer for me than it does for you guys. I'm not quite sure about optimizing stuff yet. I mean, so far, it's not like I'm dropping any frames in the game, but we'll see. Anyway, new logic puzzle type. Letters must be sorted into one type per area. Okay, connect the A's. Uh, one type per area. So it could all be four A's in one area, but not together. No A's and B's together. Looking good. Why no Twitch? Um, next time there probably will be Twitch. It's just that um, I tried to set up multi-stream. And the thing is with Twitch, Twitch has a really bad bitrate limit. Um, you can only stream in like 6,000 bit rate. So I had to get a special, or I was trying to get a special kind of setup going to be able to stream on Twitch with 6,000 and stream on YouTube with 18,000, which is not possible with any like the popular, um, just, uh, restreaming services out there. So I had to try to do it myself. It didn't really work. So I'm going to try to do it better next time. But yeah, uh, I don't even know if this game would be good on Twitch because, um, <laughs> the the bitrate needs to be high. It, it needs to be high. And on Twitch, um, 6,000 bitrate's probably not going to do it. But uh, here we get the glorious high quality. Where am I even going? Oh, up here. Yep, 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 yep. Middle ear gang. Yeah, I wanted to speak to your third ear. Ooh, four difficulty. Let's start with the one. So this is the island based off that. It's flow free. <laughs> Uh, but better, I guess. Because you just want to connect the A's, separate the rest. Uh, would I plan on uploading VODs of this? I should have them be automatically public. That is the plan. That is the plan. Now, unfortunately, my alerts aren't working. That was one of the scuffed things. Unless, if there's a delay, and we'll see it working in a bit. But I am not confident in the alerts working well. But yeah, the nice thing about YouTube is that I can just keep the VODs up live forever. And I, I know YouTube's going to apply their dummy compression. But... You know, at least it has like the highest quality one live. Because yeah, YouTube has no time to compress this. Don't make a four in the row. Whoa. Okay. Change of plans. Oh, there's more A. Way more A. Um, Let me do something like this. Maybe like that, just hypothetically. It's not my best strategy. We'll see how it pans out. Why is there a C? It's just one C. Okay, I guess. Good for you. Or I'm sorry that happened. What the hell did I do? There's more B. 
Would you plan on a ah. the vods of this? Holy crap, it worked. <laughs> that is so delayed. That that was sent like a full minute ago. Oh no. Oh, this is a nightmare. All right, well, at least that works. Could you guys hear that? I assume you guys heard that. I should actually have a pinned comment about why this isn't on Twitch. I have a pinned comment on Twitch about why it's not on Twitch. But, uh... One here would be good, too. You could hear it, too. I assume you guys couldn't see it, though. What does it sound echoing my thoughts? It is getting louder. In this realm, I'm called the Auroral. We have met before. I've never met another living being before, but I feel that something is missing. I feel like a book where each page is written and then torn out. What am I? You are a being that forgets itself each time it wakes. Amnesia! Calculated amnesia. Maybe I can play Outer Wilds again. But in that forgetfulness, you have the chance to experience the wonders of this world anew. This game is promising the ability for you to play your favorite games over and over again and forget what happens. Underclued? In an underclued grid, there are not enough clues to uniquely determine the color of each tile. The grid can be filled in multiple ways. However, none of these are the solution to the puzzle. Fill only what can be deduced in all solutions. Other tiles must remain gray. Wow, uh, another new type of puzzle. Well, that's interesting. So don't make a 4x4. Mark only what we know is true. Okay. Interesting. There are some unknowns. That means there's three ways to mark a cell, right? Black, white, and unknown. Interesting. Oh, and there's a tiles remaining at the top. I don't know how much I... Well, I mean, that's kind of interesting. Connect all dark cells. Well. Oh, yeah, yeah it just needs to come out, then connect. I bet you could use the tiles remaining to, to do something for sure. Connect all dark cells. So these are all dark. These are all dark. All dark. Simple enough. This goes up. Is there a... There is. What? Ham. I think I just walked past it like an idiot. Connect all dark cells. So you gotta do this. Connect the colors must escape. This is... Uh, stuff that I knew already, so I guess that's pretty valuable info to other people. What? Connect all dark cells. 14 are guaranteed. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The ones that can't be connected are obviously white. Took me a second. Well, well, well. What else have we? It goes up. Hidden cube. How dare you. Ooh, I could get my rewards for the puzzle boxes, but I'm not that too much of an XP fiend. Okay. Connect all dark cells. Connect all light cells. So a light cell must escape. Light cell must escape. What is definitely true? Um. Can't the black either go beep, 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 beep? Or beep, 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 beep. And can't the white go either beep, 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 or beep, 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 beep. So... I don't actually know how this is definitely true. Unless if there's something else. Right? It could either do this. Or it could do this. And this could do that. Or that. What? What am I, what am I not getting? This doesn't make any sense to me. Mark what is definitely true. Well, six... Maybe I use the six tiles remaining. That's the catch, right? So, this is black, this is white. Well, and I guess that means these are black. Or these are white, these are black. Okay. Ah, the six actually got used. Actually, I don't even know if that was the six. Something I got used. Okay, connect all dark, connect all light. So dark needs to get out, which means all three of these are dark. Actually, this is not guaranteed to be anything. 
Neither... No, this must be dark. And then this comes out. Okay, I see now. That takes the previous thing and expands on it. I'm going to do a few more of the easy ones before I tackle the uh, tricky one. Did I... Hold on, I have to go down? But I missed this. Did I get you? No, I did not. Okay, Mark was definitely true. Well, this can't be white because of us two would be a size three. Neither of these can be white because the, the three would be a size four. Another hidden cube. Get closer. You get closer, you piece of... Uh, uh, another one. They're everywhere. Actually, I should probably get this one done. There's another hidden cube. What is going on? Why are there so many? Okay. Don't make a three in a row of either color. Or no, just the black. The hardest puzzle, reading. Well, this seems pretty simple. Just block off the three in a row. It is a one pipper, that's for sure. There's another hidden cube. Stop telling me to get closer. But there's another one. Wait, did I get this already? I did. I got you too. Well, now I don't know what to trust. Is this, did I get this one? Zooming in should count. Gotcha, bitch. Okay, did I get all the base layer ones? And I'm half also searching for cubes. Hey, look, a cube. Hey, look, another cube. What the fuck? <laughs> I think I got all the low down ones. Let's head to the next layer. So, here I am. Uh, I'll get that wandering thing in a bit. No! Okay, I guess I'm getting it now. Well, that was fun. Oh, the water is distracting. These wines are... Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Uh, this is probably nauseating to watch, but I got it. Uh, there's a hidden cube! They're everywhere. Torturing me. Okay, Mark was definitely true. Four and five can't be connected. Five and two can't be connected. Five must escape. It's like the precursor to the logic puzzles. Very important. All right. One and two can't be connected. One must be finished. Two and three can't be connected. Two can escape. Two can be blocked. Three and four can't be connected. Three must go like this. And that's all we know. Sweet. Uh, is this all on this layer? I can go up to there, I believe. Oh. There's a hidden cube. I knew it. Uh, there's another hidden cube here. I wonder if you guys can see the hidden cubes well. There's another hidden cube! Jesus! Oh, I missed one. I feel like sometimes the, uh, the puzzle cubes are harder to find than the hidden cubes. Okay, don't make a 2x2 two two in black. Don't make 4 in a row in black. No 2x2, two two, no 4 in a row, no 4 in a row, no 4 in a row. Looks good to me. How about you? No 2x2 two two in white. No 2x2 two two in black. Let's see. Gonna leave this muted in the background for the sweet, sweet algorithm. Want to rewatch the whole video series to help me get into it? Good luck, have fun. Thank you. And, yes, you should rewatch the full video series. It's been fun making these to video, but this is definitely a game that's more suitable for live stream. So now it's just gonna become like a huge mega series. You can see them well. Praise be. No five in a row in either color. Simple enough. Alright, a two pepper. Well, well, well. No checkerboard pattern at all. So block the checkerboards. There's a checkerboard in the middle. There we go. Hmm. Did I get... I completed... I did not complete all three chains. Where's the third chain? There's a wandering thing. Wandering echo. Maybe it'll take me to the third chain. It will take me past the hidden cube. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? No, where are you going? You dick. Please, please. Oh, you dick. Is there a cube up here? How dare it? Where's the third chain? Wait. I saw the cube. Ooh, that was close. There is one. Maybe it's that chain over there? No, I don't think so, actually. I think it is three chains from down below. To here. 
This is the third chain. Okay, block off the one. Four must escape a little bit, but not all the way. Okay, three chains give me the Mirabilis. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, I want to get that Wandering Echo before I solve the big puzzle. Because now I'm pissed. But at least now I know where to go. And it's really slow, so I absolutely can beat it to the punch. But that's one of those where, like, you have to run it first just to know what to expect. Can I catch this? Okay. Let's just... Let's just go right here. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. It's still going. There we go. Thank you very much. Let's see what a three pipper looks like. Okay. How do I do? So don't make a four in a row of either color. And then connect all dark cells and area numbers must equal region size as well. Connect all dark cells. The threes can't connect. They would form a size of four. Uh, this right here is a dark choke point, so both of these must be dark. The three has to escape a little bit. Now, don't make a four in a row of either color. That's a big catch. Three here would be a four. Three can be complete. This needs to escape. Block that off. Can escape through here. This is a mandatory choke point. This is a mandatory choke point. I'm blocking the uh, area numbers must equal region sizes rule. That's it. Don't worry. Nothing else is missing. Nothing else. Anyway, the black choke point must continue. White is blocked off. The choke point must continue. Block off four in a row. And then these are white. Simple enough. Now, it looks like I can keep going up for some lore. And possibly some hidden cubes. It is a thousand deaths, even if they happen under a pretty sky. A thousand forgotten deaths beside an eternity of unforgettable solitude. We are two faces of the same coin, two opposing sorrows. Who are you? Who are you, chat? Who am I? What is this? Oh, a combination. The letters must be sorted in one area and, area and regions must be in equal sizes. Actually, I guess there's no forced requirements. Otherwise, I think I might have actually already been shat on. Because it looks like this should be the solution. But I am technically guessing. Separate the A's and B's. Separate the A's and B's. Okay, good. Separate the fives and fours. Looking good, looking good. I swear I saw... <laughs> this looks like it was a hidden cube for a second. It's not. It's actually kind of weird that uh, there's like two types of puzzles in this area. Like two types of logic puzzles specifically. Because I think that's how this whole thing started. Like I was supposed to get... This for the letters. I got that already. Did I get this? Search the environment? Huh? A third type of logic puzzle that I've... Oh. Oh. Oh! Is the dark in the upper left corner? Okay. Just memorize the pattern real quick. Black macaroni, other macaroni, another black piece. Wow. Wait, that's actually sick. Hold on a second. Do I have any upgrades? Let me look at my mastery. Give me some sparks. Maybe not. This upgrades 800. Can I do anything with that? Uh, oh, I can flood paint. I maybe should consider that. Hmm. Whatever. Environmental puzzle. So this is going to be like a four difficulty scan the environment. Yeah. Okay. Six sections of five. This one's rated four. Difficulty, huh? Hmm. Five lines. Well, the lines themselves are two by three. I wonder if this wandering echo would actually lead me anywhere that might help me. Wait, where'd you go? Where did you go? Up. There you are. Oh my god, where'd you go? Here you are. Give it to me. 
Nice. Wait, there's another Echo. So many of these chasers. Yeah, I remember when I actually first played this, I couldn't properly chase it because I kept missing jumps. Oh, shoot. Oh, sh yeah, I was not able to get up there. I need a, like, platform, I think. Like, I remember I was lagging so hard, it was almost impossible to follow these. Now it's a bit more manageable. No! How am I supposed to get that? Nope, there it goes. I think I just need to platform perfectly? This is... Maybe not that hard? No, it's a little tricky. It is a little tricky. I'm gonna give it like two or three more tries. Then give up. I swear I saw a cube. I think that was an island again. See, that's hard for me. Woof. Give it to me. I think I got it. Wow. Uh, lucky me. What about you? Okay, area numbers must equal region sizes. Letters must be sorted into one area. C is in this area by itself. Um, A's, or two's gotta be filled. A and B cannot be connected. A's gotta escape. Um, I just gotta think about combining the A's while letting the four be worth four. What if I do something like this? And then connect the A's? That actually might be pretty solid. So then B has got to escape a little. Mm, don't connect B and A. I mean, B has got to... Uh, I got to be careful. I got to be really careful. I could do something like this here. Right? Make a four and then B come around like this. And then do that. There we go. That, was, that seemed like the only way. It's a good puzzle. Um... Yeah, actually, that was a really good puzzle. Is that a five banger? I see ya. Although that might be an evil environment one. Don't forget, I'm still kind of looking for sections of five. Although, I mean, I don't even know what I'd begin to look at. Maybe the columns? Uh, let's see what this is. No, this is a logic puzzle. Letters must be sorted in one type per area. What's the easiest one to start with? B and A seem pretty easy. Well, A seems easy, easy anyway. Yeah, I guess. Don't connect A and D. I could connect F's pretty easily. C's gotta come this way then. Then B, separate C and G. Uh, I feel like B is pretty simple. C's gotta come around the edge. How is this worth five? That was not worth five. That was like a three paper max. It's a cool puzzle. It looks really cool. Oh, hold up. Hey, look at this. Black, black, and I assume nothing means white. That's probably part of it. Now, let me f solve this armillary rings and then uh, see if I can find out more. Well, there's a second layer up there. There's another black. I mean, it's gotta be this then, right? Are there any others? Well, what about this? Hmm. Let me see what the proportions are. There's five in a row. So one, two, three, four, five. But then what about this here? Is this all full of five? One, two, three, four, five. I'm not sure which would be which. What's up, Oshis? Um, Because there's also this here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Kin Cube. Right now, that's three of them. But I assume maybe there's another building to the side or something? Three out of six? Do you think there's anything as well up here? I mean, this is probably too far away. No, this is way too far away. And frankly... It doesn't match the pattern either. It just would not make sense for it to be that. Now the tricky thing is figure out which is which because uh, the way they're separated isn't 
incredibly helpful. And I keep seeing all these other puzzles out here, and I just want to do them. But I should get this first. Is there a second layer? Like, the second floor might help as well? Because I see the second floor up there a bit. Um... Yeah, there's also a second floor up there. Wait, there's also this direction. Is there anything in this direction? There's nothing in this direction. So what if this is like the rightmost two rows? Like this is the bottommost row on the right. This is the topmost row on the right. And then here, this is the top row, most row in the middle, bottom most row in the middle, where this black wall from this perspective is actually filled in. And then this is the bottom most row on the left, top most row on the left. So let's see, I would have an elbow macaroni on the left. I'd have boop and boop in the middle. And then I'm not gonna remember all this. Memory. Memory. So it was something like this. I think it was this and then elbow macaroni. I might have gotten the elbow macaroni wrong. If that's it. That's cool. That's very cool. Very, very, very cool. Well, I have a lot of puzzles out here now. The environmental puzzles. Don't make four in a row of white but they almost connect well so i've got to escape through here no further no four in a row i need a choke point somewhere somehow i mean this must connect this is not so that must go around like this connect there whoops block i could do then this there we go looking good What about these two? Don't make a 2x2 two two in white and also separate the different letters. B's and C's easily separate. B's got to escape like this. Block that. Uh, block A and D. Block these. Um, I'm not fully sure how I want to connect just yet. The B's have to connect. That's the main thing. So don't connect B and C. I assume C's just connect like this. And then I can have B run around like so. Whoops, wrong one. Like that. Nice. I swear there was another up here. Am I going crazy? Nope. It's real. Don't make two in a row of black? That's kind of brutal. Okay. Well, B must escape. B can't connect to C. C must escape. C is finished. But that's like really hard to mark. Yeah, I want to mark off C really bad, but I feel like I should be patient. Yeah, I feel like I'm forced to be patient. Do I just connect A? Well, A has to escape. I don't know. I mean, A connection makes sense. It's just the two in a row with blacks, huh? Like, it feels like the only way to actually section off a section is like this, using diagonal lines. You know what I mean? I think that would make sense, actually. If I just, like, section sections off with diagonal lines. Whoops. Like this? You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like there's merit to that. Whoops. Like that? Yes, the diagonal lines. I feel like that one's worth at least three. That one felt a bit trickier than two pips. Found you. But I guess different puzzles are harder for different people. Like, I think that one, though, was strictly harder than some three pips or even five pip ones. That was a really interesting one, though. You had to... Maybe that one's, like, really easy to guess. Maybe that's part of it. Like, part of the rating is how easy you can just get away with guessing, which I try to solve all these without guessing in any way. But other people may try to guess. It is a 
fast strategy. I'm not going to say valid. I don't like that strategy. It's a shit strategy, but you know, people do it. And I guess it is what it is. It's a very... It's a very shameful strategy. I didn't screw myself. Nope. Not one bit. You bring dishonor to your family, if you guess. So, another one of these. Okay. Oop. A little tease. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. No, don't stay up there. Don't stay up there. No, he is staying up there. Okay, well, I'm not going to make it. Oh, I see the cube. Uh, I'll try to get that when I go there. Wait, how do I get up quickly, though? My fast way of getting up is here. This is not a good way. Well, it works. Where'd it go? Oh, no. How do I do that? Oh, there's a thing here. This may help. Okay, so I'll do that. Give me that. Did I do, uh, this? No, I never did. One type per area. Seems simple enough. This is basically just to separate the darks and the lights puzzle. For now. But it won't stay like that forever. Um... I think this is fine. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, just focus on separating those. Bring the A out. Don't connect with B. Bring the A out. B's got to come out. Don't connect them. Bring it out. I guess the B could just connect with the others. I assume it's that easy. I assume so, anyway. C could connect. So could D. So could A. C's got to escape. So does B. So does C. Well, I feel like this is just a big, funny little pattern like this. You can kind of intuit it. Give me that, Mirabilis. Logic grids with letters are mine. Are you one of them? You are one of them. Separate the different letters. And it feels like I can solve this whole thing at once. Don't know if it's right. But it seems pretty simple, doesn't it? See, that's not a three difficulty. I'd give it two. I'd give it two, but uh, I'm just a lowly puzzle solver. There is a cube. I knew it's there. Yeah, this is basically flow free if it was good. And honestly, from what I've heard, flow free isn't even that bad. But I don't really touch it that much. The reason I say if it was good is because this has the possibility to become, like, really challenging. It hasn't yet because this is the tutorial island, but it has the possibility to. All right, so I got to get the last echo. It's a pretty tough one, actually. It's a, one of the more challenging echoes I've had. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to touch it so soon. Okay, at least I know the shortcut now. Which timing better work out. Then I, like, run down here. It's gonna keep going, though. Oh, no, it's not. Good. Hell yeah. So, two more logic grids. That's the type of hidden thing I like to look for. Hmm. Oh, here's one. Wait. I'm actually shocked I haven't done this. <laughs> I passed it so many times, I really thought I would have. Okay. Well, don't connect the A's. Connect that there. Don't connect A's and B's. Gotta come out. Okay, so no four in a row. That's the big thing. So, B's gotta, like, zigzag. Otherwise, it's no good. But otherwise, that seems pretty fine to me. One more. 
I've unlocked the thing to control crit click. I just kind of don't. I don't have it committed to muscle memory yet. I'm not too bothered by it. Like the way it sol everything solves now is so smooth that I don't really care. Maybe I'll change it up for like really tedious times, but is that a hidden cube? Yes, it is. Ah, here we go. Found you. All right, two pipper. Block off the different colors. Just connect all dark cells. See, I want to just connect A and B at the edge. Seems pretty simple that far. I could connect C around the top. I gotta be... Oh! Mmm. I gotta be careful. Okay, maybe I don't do C yet then. Or maybe C would actually go here. Connect like that. That makes sense. Yeah, it looks good to me. Hell yeah. Final mirror bills of the area. One area down. God knows how many more to go. I wonder if there's... There's 27 puzzles still here? You're shitting me. Well, uh, nope. That's not a cube. Let's see if I can find any tricky ones. Region numbers and different... Connectors with letters. Right on. Okay, bring around the C. This got to come out. So does that. Hmm. Don't connect A and B. A and B both have to come out. So is the 6. So is this A. 7's got to connect out. So is that. Don't connect 7 with 5. Connect C. So 5 goes there. C probably just comes around like this. 7's got to come out a little more. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could do, like, six like this. Just off the top of my head. And I just have to be careful. I don't know. This doesn't look too bad. Uh, hold on. I got to connect like this, I believe. Hold on, though. Hold on, I will connect A and C this way. Crap. Um, can I maybe go back to before I guessed? This whole A6 thing was a guess, so let's not do that. Alright, how about... I block off C? Well, but C could expand a bit more over. Someone pinging me. All right, block this. A and B, six comes up, A comes up. Then B is gonna come out. So I mean, B is connected. Don't connect with A. Bring up A, bring up six, bring up A. A has to come like this. I don't know, I've, I guess I was kind of right, but I did something else wrong. I think I did it this wrong. Yes. Okay, I had the intuition right, but then I choked afterwards. Noted. That was a good puzzle. I did that. Is there a puzzle up there, or are you just having fun? <laughs> uh, let's see. Oop, here's one. Gotcha. Oh, sh <laughs> Well, that's a challenging one. Aha! Uh -huh. Four stars, aka nine difficulty. Huh. Okay. Well, giant puzzle. Yeah, alright. Biggest puzzle I've seen yet. Uh, I guess I gotta bring out the C and D. Bring it out. So C's gotta connect. Z just has to go way far away. So I guess the idea is I should think about this from the perspective of the D where I just kind of wrap around in a very specific way. So, I think D has to kind of do something funny, where it uh, it goes around like this sort of thing, and almost creates a little space for B to snake through. And then kind of comes around C, then comes around A. I feel like 
yeah, you just gotta think about it from the perspective of that. Because if you do that, then just kind of fill in everybody else. You're kind of just good. Four stars, my ass. Although, I mean, it does force you to think outside the box. I can see being a three star. <laughs> you love to see it. I have played Flow 3 back in the day. Or Flow Free, thank you very much. Are there any more, actually? Maybe I should search the edge, because if that's where the crazy puzzles are. Or if you want to ping uh, me to more of them, I would not complain. So I've heard the hardest difficulty in the game is a five star puzzle. So that's basically 10 difficulty. I haven't seen it before. The wandering around the map, I have seen four star difficulties before. Oop, I'm getting pinged. This is over here. Oh, a two star, nice. Watch this actually be harder than the four star. It's smaller, so I actually bet it is. First things first, I actually don't have a good starting move. So, I think I want to think about this from either A or C. Wait, no, there's three of everybody. Oh, yeah, okay, it's... Is this rotational? No, not quite. I think the solution's gonna look pretty with some sort of symmetry. I gotta think about this very carefully. Yeah, I feel like this, you gotta really grasp the whole thing at once. This does actually feel harder than the four star right off the bat. Um, like, let's consider an idea. Um, which line goes around the back of each of these four? Which line? Um, I could argue that this one is B, because that still lets A escape cleanly. But, um, B could actually escape around again, funny enough, like this. Because that also connects all A's, that brings out C. I don't know, I think this is right, actually. Yeah, I think this is right. Looking good to me. Nice, two star. The pattern was looking kind of Hindu by the end of it. Is that cube? No, that's a rock. Any more stars here? There's 23 puzzles I just have not seen. Oh, of course, it does count cubes as puzzles as well. What's interesting is the 10,000 puzzle count does not actually count stuff like hidden objects. So I wonder what's up with the discrepancy between that. All right, well, hold on. Let's search off cliffs, huh? So I'm just going to start flying and looking. And if I fall, I fall. Yeah, yeah, I will sacrifice my own life to find puzzles. It's what I do in real life, too. And it's what you should all do. Lay down your life for the puzzle gods. Um... No? Okay, guess not. You may fall forever? Well, let me, bitch. On. I, I almost made a full loop. I'm just going to kind of finish that. No more puzzles on edges. So there's 22 puzzles still in the middle? Bro. Wait, that's wild. Get me out of here. There's only two of the star puzzles. Alright, I'll do a sweep for like... 30 seconds, and if I don't find anything, I'll just go to another area. I like that they just hide, like, hyper-difficult puzzles in a tutorial area for people that are willing to go and find them. Feels rewarding. Anything behind a waterfall? Do they do that in this game? I don't know. The whole game is kind of like stuff hidden behind a waterfall, so actually hiding something behind a waterfall would almost be like too obvious, you know? There was a hidden cube? Eh, it's a cube. I don't give a damn. I'm out of here. 
I think I was mostly looking for logic puzzles. I should have specified. Oh yeah, also, I don't know why I haven't been using this. Uh, there is fast travel in this game. Um, I'm gonna do that. Head up here. Because I got a quest reward. Which is... Here it is. Give me that. Right, what am I gonna do? Oh, five hidden cubes would have been great. Uh, give me the armillary rings. I'm sure we'll see a ton of those. Um, how about more mastery? No more sparks. What about this? 900? Hmm. Oh, I can highlight the region. That might be helpful. Two upgrades from now. Okay, next thing. The ancient court. Whatever that means. More new puzzle types. Ah, flying around this game is so nice. I can only hope and pray it looks as nice to you guys as it does to me. Because, I mean, this is just... Yeah, I could do this forever. So I was actually playing this game quite a lot off stream, but mostly because they actually reset accounts between the beta and the actual game. I open my eyes to a broken god, a terrifying beauty of such immensity that her hand forms the gr very ground beneath me. What kind of insignificant speck am I to cross into her world and find myself asleep on the tip of her finger? Yet her gaze is inscrutable. Am I as much a wonder to her as she is to me? Nope. Come on. Oh, damn you. No! I thought I had it. No, I'm missing one. What is this puzzle? This is evil. Maybe I gotta stand like here or something? Nope. I'm still missing one? There we go. That, that one is evil. That Obli guy is a bit of a poet. But yeah, I, I still enjoyed my time just re-solving the puzzles. Why is that so big? <laughs> uh, just because, like, simply being in this world is, like, really, really satisfying. Okay, so an area of hidden rings and connectors. Whoop, I skipped over something. Waking in the hands of a goddess is not such a bad thing. Are you the shaper of realms? I am no god. I'm a shaper of sorts, but who is the shaper of realms? A false memory, perhaps. The story in Fragments does not make too much sense to me. Oh, there's a hidden archway, too. Okay, so this is like a hide-and-seek kind of area sort of thing, but also perspective stuff. This is probably one of my weaknesses. I'm um, just trying to memorize the shapes on the damn boxes. Because you got to match, of course, by the shape on the box. Oh, oh, a ton of rings. Hold up. Hold up. I got gotcha. you. Wrong target. Oh, yeah. Duh. <laughs> Neat. Am I trying to 100% the enclaves? Uh, no. I left about 20-something puzzles left over from the previous area, so, I mean, not a chance. I think if it becomes too much of, um, hide-and-seek, I'm not here for it. So it seems like I've got to actually put in some work into, like, memorizing these patterns. Is there something up here that's the same? Or is that a different pattern? That's a different pattern. Is there a red over here? No. So the hardest thing for me is just actually finding the two. And I haven't even begun to think about lining them up yet. Just simply finding them has been a challenge for me. Oh, here we go. Found two. Once you find the two, it becomes fun. But before you find the two, 
Ooh, leveled up. Okay, I think I recognize this. Is this one also the same as... Where are you? Is it over here? Is that one? Oh, I see the little window here. Oh, nice. Love the Mirabilis. We got a lot. Find five sightseers. What the hell is a sightseer? Also, give me the rings or give me the sparks. Thank you. Oh, is that something? I think it is. Is it the something? It is. Is this a sightseer? Oh. Compare the sightseer. Oh, so I got to stand in a spot where this matches the environment. So the second layer. Interesting. Is it here? Mm, there's more of a... Pillar. So, talking about this? Wait, no. Can't see the water. Maybe I just gotta get higher. Why does it say there's a pillar on my left? Do I have to go lower, maybe? Yeah, I do. I do. Okay. All coming together. These are evil. Oh, wait, this is less evil now. Okay. I can tolerate this. This is cool, actually. What the? How do you... See, it feels like I have it, but I guess I don't. Oh, man. How precise is it going to force it to be? Oh, no. Ugh. Oh, no. I'm terrible at these. Oh, yay. <laughs> All right, let me see the explanation of this. Focusing on a single object it often is enough to make it correct. Try to line up a close object and a far object. Thanks. I can do that. The sightseer. I see the ring. I'm just also looking to see if I can see anything else. Like, I don't know. Another one of these. I swear I recognize it. Just don't remember where. Nah, fuck it. I can't remember. Here, whoa, there. Okay. Midair. <laughs> okay, nice. Another one of these. Um, I'm on rocks. Okay, so there's the water and that cube and a bunch of pillars. So I'm on rocks, kind of looking at this, maybe standing, like line up the cube and the pillar if I can help it. Nice. Prominent landmarks, that one is pretty self-explanatory. Okay. I did know that VeggieQuest is fully released now. I actually did record a video and is being edited as we speak. Don't know when it's going to release. Maybe this weekend? This video will come out? Nice. Uh, I see the ring up there. Is it easy to get? Or should I not give a damn? I'm going to choose to not give a damn. I saw the sights here. Don't worry. But there's also one here. Alright, what am I looking at? 
Okay, down by the water. Looking at palm trees. Okay. There's the water. It's like a split Pam, so... Mm, no, it's a single. Those aren't Pams. Is there a separate water? Where's the trees? Where's the trees? Different water? <laughs> I guess it has to be. Oh, there is a different water. And there's a ring in here, too. Okay, so... Let's enlarge it. See through it. So you get the trees. What else is there? There's the rock in the distance. And actually, I think I'm going to go with the rock in the distance here. Or maybe, like, yeah, just a lot of stuff in the distance. Is that good enough? Yes! Alright. Alright, what about the diamond? Have I seen another diamond cube? Hmm. I don't remember. Any new puzzle types? Oh yeah, I mean, we've been doing nothing but new puzzle types all day. Well, except for these. The sightseers are new. And then we had a lot of new logic puzzles. Okay. So a big shot of the building. Is that from the front? Front looking to the right? Mm, it's not bad, is it? Well, it kind of looks like it. Okay, hold on. Um, got to get the angle correct here. So you almost got to be looking at it like this. It's good enough. Okay, I'm starting to like these. I'm not even close on... Well, I guess I'm kind of close on the max matchboxes. Apparently, there's only three more pairs, so I should just be able to start memorizing them. Where's the... Oh, uh, here's... Wait, the green diamond's here? What? Unless if, like, around the corner works? Maybe from up top? Because the red diamond's like way over here. What? Alright, I'm gonna get high. Give me that. <laughs> well... Now, the issue with getting high is that I can, while I can see this, I gotta also be able to see the other bad boy. Can I see it from up here at all? <laughs> Come on, where are you? There. Okay, how about this? I'm going to stand here and see what sort of high spots are visible from here. How about that? Mm, none of the help. There's a gap here. Oh, that's the gap. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that's got to be the gap. Okay, I can't physically fit through there, but that's the one. Okay, so I should like start standing on them. Wow. Clever. Yeah, and then seeing what sort of weird view portals there are. All right, two more pairs and one more sightseer. Okay, so I got this bad boy. Where's the other one before I go looking for weird gaps? It's not the giant one, is it? No, that's a different one. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't remember where it is. I actually don't even know if I've seen it. And I haven't found the pair for the big one either. Maybe I'll just do the uh, sightseer and maybe I'll just come across it. Oh, ha. Huh. <laughs> okay, that works. All right, one more and then I'll do this too. Looking down on... Oh, I recognize the diamond. It looks like I gotta go like up there or something. Yeah, that's what I gotta do. So, let's see. So it actually looks like I'm looking through a gap in the floor, kind of like this. Yeah, a lot like that. Then just kind of, yep, give it to me. Thank you very much. On top, across the big red cube is a green one at my feet. Oh, well, you mean the one I just got? Okay. This is a delay, right? All right, so one more pair. I know I got that already. Oh, there's still another hidden ring, too. Okay, so it's this and the red version. I don't know if I've ever found the red version. And even worse, I have no idea where the ring is. How about this? Because there's this funny little window, maybe if I like back out, I can randomly just see the red one. Like what's the most obscure, obscure, pot, <laughs> obscure spot I can still see through the window? Like way out here? Can I still see it from here? Yeah, I can. So I bet they would make you stand like way out here. But then where's the red? Solve that one. Is the red in the wall or something? It's not the big one. Uh, I got that already. I've already got that ring. Oh no. This is the worst thing to be stuck on too because it's not like I can reason my way through it. It's just you kind of got to bash your head against the wall until something shows up. I already got that. I already got this, although this, it looks so weird, right? At least I think it does. Can't see through it there, but here. Is it in the damn ceiling? That would be a spot that I never look. Gamers don't look up. And then people take that knowledge think, Oh, I should make gamers look up. Well, no, you shouldn't fucking make gamers look up because we don't look up. We're not meant to look up. It is not what the neck do. There's a tiny arch. Oh my god. 
They made gamers look up. Why would you do this? Why would you make me look up? How dare you? Well, I still need a ring. <laughs> uh, where is it? That ring is worth one whole Mirabilis. Yeah, that's the thing, right? People are like, oh, if I just add enough challenges where gamers have to look up, eventually they'll look up, right? No, we're just hardwired to not look up. You know, it's one of, like, humanity's many flaws next to, like, not being immortal. Ooh, I'll make a game that you can only win if you live forever. You can't. Is the next other ring right by the looking up? Yeah, maybe it's in a tree. These are evil. If you're talking about this, I got it already. I keep, every time I pass this, I look at it because it doesn't look like I got it. It looks weirdly more, um, I don't know, it just looks more transparent than the others. Unless if the ring's like here. Oh, wow. You had to look up! <laughs> Jeez. All right, well, that's done with. Do I have to touch ground? I do have to touch ground. You don't get a mirror bussy unless you touch grass. Hey, 100% complete. That's actually pretty rare. Later, nerds. Gotta go over there now, huh? Bet. Ooh, give me the ring. I need some more rings. Um. Come on. There we go. Mm, not a fan of these. I will do every ring I see along the way. And I think I will try to journey the normal way on foot. I will do these rings. If I see him. The Great Pearl of Autumn Falls. Wait, new region? Oh, oh, give me the fragment. There's a monolith in this area too, huh? Oops. Cool. Oh, rings? Those moving already? They are. Hmm. What do here? Got you, I got you, I got you. Give me that. We'll do a four pip logic puzzle. It could be fun. Whoa, weird rules. Don't make a light black light. Don't make a checkerboard. And don't make a black light black. Interesting. So don't make any kind of weird checkerboards. So this would stop the three in a row checkerboard. Hmm. How do I want to go about this? Because it's not like I need to connect to black cells or anything. This where, oh, is there a normal checkerboard? There's a normal checkerboard I prevent. Okay. Stop the three in a row. Um, okay, the two is almost complete, or the four is almost complete. Maybe I should think about the four. Well, so this can't be white. Otherwise, both of these would have to be black, blocking off the floor. Four, so this is black, making this white. So I imagine we're going to be seeing like a lot of two by twos. Because uh, that prevents the checkerboardification of society. Now, I should block this all off, huh? And block the checkerboard. Block the checkerboard. Block the checkerboard. Block the checkerboard line. Block that off. And then both of these need to be black. What else? What 
else. Mm, is there gonna have to... Well, if this was white, I would again have both of these being black, creating a checkerboard pattern, so this must be black. Um... What other ways can I do that sort of thing? Or maybe there's just the- oh, uh, possible checkerboard I have to prevent like this. Duh. Look for areas where there's not two of a color in a row. Like here, for example. Hmm. Still thinking about the two. I don't know. Two can go either way. What about the five? The five comes down. Hmm. A little sticky, actually. I feel like I want to guess with the two. Not guess. Um, I feel like I want to look at the two because that's the only thing. Do I have the ability to mark stuff? Eh, never mind that. If this was white, I would go black, black, black. Um, then this would have to be black. Oh, if this was white, I would have a white, black, white. There we go. That's the catch. So, no good there. Can't have a white, black, white. Hmm. This needs to be white. Black, white. This has to be white. Mm-hmm. There's no checkerboards, I fear. Yet. What about this? If this was white, these two would be black. And then I have black, black, black. I feel like that just solves the puzzle. Yeah, I can go like this, right? Black, 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 and then the rest are whites. Nice. Worthy of its four pips. <laughs> Very particular set of rules. What are you doing? You looking at something? Not particular. Okay. Do I prefer when broken rules are immediately obvious or at the end? Uh, I think at the end... Because I don't want to accidentally guess and check something. Like, I don't want to, like, accidentally mark something and then the game tells me it's wrong. Because that just gives me information while I wasn't asking for it. I think in general... Nah, as a one-pipper, don't care. Generally, if it tells you it's wrong, it's giving you information that you're generally not asking for. So yeah, I prefer it doesn't bum rush to tell you. There's a five-star close by. Oh, God. All right, Autumn Falls, area number three. Ooh. Okay, but there's actually, like, a lot in both the first two areas left behind. I kind of actually want to go for those. I might even double back to, like, the first area, because there's a quest for perfection. Then what else have I not done here? Oh, I haven't done the match three speed challenge, uh, nor have I done the Dare of the Triunes, but I think I did that in the beta, but for some reason it's not active. Um, I actually kind of want to do the match three speed challenge. And the pyramid needs zero out of five mysteries. They changed it. Well, this is a mystery. I don't have any Miramillas here, actually. Because that's the, that's the starting area. What do you mean zero out of six puzzles solved? Didn't I do that? I don't know, maybe not. Oh, let me also come here, just unlock a fast travel point. How about I do the match three speed challenge, huh? Try to like clear out some areas. Ping that. Ooh, a little lore. Obli, the last secret. What is it she wants us to know? Hmm, the memories ebb and flow, but I know it has to do with that rip in the sky. You should ask. It doesn't pay to be ignorant in a land of knowledge. Indeed, my friend. What do you know of that rip in the sky? You have lived in this land of knowledge longer than the rest of us. Sometimes I feel like half of me was left on the other side. <laughs> that I'm in a perfect balance of ignorance and enlightenment. But I will tell you what I remember.
Okay, and then they stop talking. I will tell you everything I remember. Pause. All right, let's see if they change the match three speed challenge. Where is it? Wait, where did my ping go? My ping is in the sky. Get out of here. Okay, so it's this. Give me the rings first. There we go. Eh, you know what? I might do a quick sky drop real quick. These are satisfying. All right. Whoop. Archway. Gotcha. Okay. Did they change this from um, how it was before? Because I didn't really like how it was just kind of memorization. And really a lot more on physical execution than anything else. Like, it didn't feel like it was um, speed of puzzle solving. Oh, no. It might still be. Uh, maybe. I solved it wrong. Well done. Impressive. Oh, I see. What the fuck, then? Uh, do this first? I don't know. There we go. <laughs> that was way, way, way too slow. Okay. Hmm. That why are there two of these? That's wrong. Um I don't know how to begin this. Maybe this? Maybe that? Maybe all this? There we go. Well, I'm definitely not beating it this time. I don't even know if I want to. Well, yes, it would be nice, but seems like it's just as annoying as I remember. Because it's probably going to make me do 20, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's kind of frustrating. Mm, let's do this first. There we go. Okay. Mm let's get the uh, pink down first. Yeah, it's going to make me do 20. That's sad. Uh, let's start with this. Follow it up. Follow it up. Puzzle 10. Oh boy, I'm not going to get it fast enough, am I? Unless. Well, you never know. Half a second. And I'm out of time. Don't even try. Beat 10. Oh, it doesn't tell you how many. It probably is 20. Yeah, that's the thing with this. There's like a very limited amount of puzzles too. Oh god, you have to score 20. Damn it, I was really hoping they'd change it. Because there's like only 20 puzzles total in the whole thing. So you just memorize the 20 puzzles and it's less about puzzle solving, but more about just literally moving fast. Well, that could eat my nuts. Maybe I'll do it one day. How about, um, how about this? There was one other thing I had no idea that existed. The quest for perfection. What's that? Did I get this already? Yeah, I did. I don't mind speed puzzles if it's like solve something hard fast, where it's like the main thing is just how quickly you think of the solution. Where for the match three speed challenge, it like changes the type of puzzle from something that's all about uh, the mental execution to something that's more about physical execution. It just feels off. Like I like speed when you were doing um the uh, the, the what should we call it? Like the well the little speed orbs. Oh. In this, this is interesting. In this grid puzzle challenge, anything you fill is final. Three mistakes and you're out. Do not guess. Take your time. Well, that that's interesting. Don't make a two by two in black. Area numbers must equal region sizes. Well, seems pretty good so far. All right. I, I made a mistake because I made a two by two. I already forgot that rule. I was literally about to say, oh, this is easy. Uh, it is, but I just fucked up. Connect all dark cells. 
Don't make a 2x2 two two in black. Actually, remember this rule this time. Otherwise, I'm going to scream. It feels weirdly more intense. Don't make a 3x3 three three in either color. So far, so good. Don't make a three in a row. No three in a rows. That's what I meant. No three in a rows. No three in a rows. Block that. Block the three in a row. Block that. Uh, and block that. Three. Don't make a two by two in black. Connect all dark cells. This has to come out. The choke point is here. This is a required choke point. So are all these. No two by two. Uh, required choke point. Required choke point. And nope. Connect all dark cells. No 2x2 two two in black. So all these got to be white. These all got to come out. This is a mandatory choke point. Block the 2x2. Two two. Mandatory choke point. Oh, nice. That was cool. I wonder if there's a harder version. The highest possible score is 25 puzzles. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Can I get 25 in a row? <laughs> you know what? I'm down. Let's see it. I actually still have five in a row. I still have my one miss. Uh, I'm not scared. Not one bit. Five can't connect with three. Three forms like this. Five's got to carry out. Now, it says don't guess. And I suppose that is fine. Because this makes seven anyway. I feel like there's only one way to do this. Just checking out. There's only one way to do it. I think I can do this. Don't make a two by two in black. But connect all dark cells. Well, this is a tricky one. Um, This is a necessary choke point. So this then can't be black. Then no two by two. Which way is necessary? Well, this is a necessary choke point. No two by two. No two by two. If I go up like this, if I go through this path, a two by two would be mandatory. So actually, that makes this a mandatory choke point. Block this. Come on over. And then here and here. There we go. It actually feels more tense like this. Like I have to actually consider everything. Connect all dark and all light cells. Like connect all dark cells through the middle. And then light cells from the outside. But I cannot do the opposite. Don't make a 2x2 two two in black and connect all dark cells. Okay, well I can go about this far. So there's just one way to connect it without making a 2x2, two two, and it's this. Area numbers must equal region sizes. These... I'm so stupid. Ah! I was about to say I'm so good at those. Stop going fast. Stop going fast. I just screw myself. I can't do this with uh, with also going fast. Okay, I got to get 15 perfect. Easy. Super easy. Hyper easy. Ah, super easy. Okay, block the 8 and 3. Block off the 1. 8 comes out. 3 and 7 can't meet. 3 is complete. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, looking good there. My Pams are actually sweaty right now. Don't make a three in a row. So far, so good. No more three in a rows. No more. Okay. Oh, um, five must escape. Can't connect with three. Three must go this way. Three is complete. Five must escape this way. Three is forced to be here, and five is forced to be here. Don't make a two by two in black. This would make a two by two. And connect all dark cells. This seems to be a mandatory choke point. So don't make a two by two. This seems to be a mandatory choke point. No two by twos. No two by twos. Looking good. 14. No three in a rows. I almost accidentally clicked the wrong button but not today not today 15 that's a good mark area numbers must equal region sizes don't connect those don't connect different numbers 
All right, six has to go here at least. Um, but then it can't go there. It would overflow. Five and four cannot connect. This is five. This is four. Three must come out and connect there. Two's done. Okay, area numbers must equal region sizes. So far, so good. Four coming down. Block off. Three, two, four must be complete. Five comes out. Okay, the threes cannot connect. This can't be white, because that would screw over this three. would force them to connect and become a big number. So don't let that happen. Three must come out. Don't connect with five. Five must come out. Three must come out a little. Don't connect with the other three. Three must finish. I actually did not fully consider that one. Eight to go. Don't make a two by two in black. Do not, under any circumstance, make a two by two in black. Don't do it, Tyler. Don't do it. You know you want to. But you didn't do it. Good job. No two by two in black. Block this off. Do that. Bam. bam. No two by two in black. That is separate. Can't let the two merge there. No two by two in black. Looking good. Okay. Region sizes again. <laughs> a tiny baby one. Baby tiny puzzle. Don't mess this one up, huh? Five, six, seven. There we go. Five to go. No three in a row. Bam, 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 bam. No three in a row of either color. Find the three in a rows and stop them. Just got to very carefully look. I mean, this one is usually hard to mess up unless if I misclick. So that is what I'm thinking about right now. Do not, under any circumstance, misclick. And you'll be okay. <laughs> oh, this is a fun little pattern. <laughs> oh, I, I love this snaking. This is so satisfying. That is so satisfying. Four to go. Don't make a 2x2 two two in black. No 2x2 two two in black. And connect all dark cells. No 2x2 two two in black. Mandatory choke point. Uh, I don't think this can ever be black. Because then I'm forced to make a 2x2 two two in black no matter which way I go. So this has to be white. And then mandatory choke point. No 2x2. Two two. Mandatory. No 2x2. Two I think this is fine. Just double, triple checking that there's nothing stupid about it. Three to go. Area numbers must equal region sizes. Looking good. Two is complete. Three can come out. So can five. Separate the two. Three in the corner. Four or five away. Four comes out. So the six. Block them off. Four is like that. And six can just fill in the rest. Two to go. No three in a rows. Block that off. Block these off. Do not misclick. Do not misclick. Do not ever misclick. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, don't do it. One to go. The final one. Place your bets. Am I going to get on the last one? I literally cannot make a mistake. I just need to connect the dark and light cells. There's no stupid two by two. There's no numbers. This is the one. Just connect the different... Colors. So light here is trapped, so it must come out like this. The dark here is trapped, must come out like this. This is a dead end for dark, so dark must snake around to the left. At least this far, at least to here. This dark must come out, and then they must keep going together, keep snaking out here. Light must come out, and then dark must come out, light must come out. Dark must escape, because yeah, there's still another dark, so must light all the way up here. Now this is has to be all light and never be dark. I think I've done it. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> It'd be funny if I messed this one up, but I won't. Oh, let's go. The maximum possible score. Ah! <laughs> Do I get anything for that? I get to feel superior and my funny little cube is glowing, although I don't know if it was before. They should give you uh, mirror bills for that. Man. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, I don't think I've ever been that nervous solving a puzzle before. What the hell? Fucking fuck. Wait, how's this one doable? Oh, wait. Maybe this way? Something like this way. 
squat, maybe? Pop a squat. Pop a squat. Oh, that one's very specific. Okay, is that everything else I can actually do in this area except for the match three? Um, There's the monolith, which just has fragments I need to find. This I don't have enough for. The match three. Let me go back to see what's going on out here. I don't know if it's a bug or if it's just something I'm missing. Max score is 25 with no mistakes. Well, I'm not doing that. Unless if it gets you a Mirabilis. But it didn't mention it, so I feel like it would have to mention it. Although if there's also, I assume the max score being 25 implies that there is 25 total puzzles. So, I actually would hate redoing it. A mystery. What is this? Logic. Okay, nice. Search the environment. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh, wait a second. A three by three with two black in the middle. Oh boy, are these all search the environments? No, no, no! <laughs> oh god. Um, let me get up high, maybe. I missed. Great jump. Because, I mean, this is kind of a grid. Does it relate to this at all? That's three in a row. Well, okay, hold on. There's some stuff here in the water. Three by three. With two. Oh, okay. Small tip for returning Ooh. from the break and archiving perfection. Thank you. <laughs> Little jump scare. It's the leaves. So down leaf means black, and then up leaf means white. Okay. Same symbol enough. Whoop. What? Did I miss one? Yeah, I did miss one, actually. There we go. Okay, hold on. So how about these leaves? Well, there's dark leaves and light leaves. If a dark leaf is in the upper right corner... Well, okay, but these are literally darker, so I bet you have to stand like this, right? So it's probably these four. That makes sense. Here, well, only four leaves are available. Some have sunk, so maybe... Okay, light. So this is light. Light probably means floating, because it's lighter than the darks. There we go. Oh, this is cool. Um, here, three leaf versus four leaf clover. So the middle is black, and then there's a white corner. So black is three, white is four. In which corner was it? Bottom right corner, so I would stand here. So there's only three lights, the rest are dark. There's a big one in the middle, which is a... How big is that grid? Oh, it's that kind of grid. Let's see. Oh, oh, this is like a combination of everything, isn't it? So... <laughs> oh, no. Okay. I think this is the light one right here, because that's a light leaf, yeah? So then there's a dark leaf on the top. Um, the floating lily pads are light. Whoops. So this is light, that's light. The sunken ones are dark. Actually, I don't know if I have the orientation right. Maybe it's symmetrical, so it doesn't matter? I would hope so, anyway. Uh, that's dark. Three leaf clover is dark. I already got that. Wait, what? Why do I keep pressing this? What is going on? That's gotta be dark.
Wait a second. Something's not right here. Why are there... So this is a 3x3 three three with 4 on the outside. This is a 5x5? Five five, sort of? There's more on the outside is what we're looking at. Maybe this is just wrong? Maybe this is what it's referring to? No. Well, maybe. Oh! This is how I'm supposed to stand. I'm supposed to stand diagonally. <laughs> uh-huh. So. Obviously. Wait a second. If I reset this, then... This is light. Aren't... If I stand diagonally, aren't both this and... No, wait. One's facing up, one's facing down. So hold on. Which was up and which was down? Here. Was down dark? Down was dark. So... This could be light, but what about any other way? There's no other way. I have to stand specifically from here. <laughs> well, that's funny. Uh, that makes a lot more sense now. All right, so... <laughs> All right, we got a few lights in the middle. We got lights kind of looking like this. Uh, another one in the upper right. And then these three are darks for sure. It's four leaf. That's also dark. Then bottom two looking like pretty dark to me. Very clever. Oh, nice. Nice trick. Nice trick. Uh, what about the three by three, though? I wonder if that's more just referring to the whole playing field where it's like kind of an X. Nice. Well done. Get closer. Oh, come on. Just give it to me. Thank you. Let me try next. I think it's an X. It is not. Well then. Well, this looks darker. This looks lighter. So maybe it's just like whether or not there's shade. Is there shade over here? I can't tell. Oh, this looks pretty dark. So wet is dark. That's so funny. Okay, so this is the corner because all the other corners are wet. The center is wet. Uh, in which corner do I start with? That's in the bottom right. Which actually is the closest one to me. That's very convenient. Very clever. Nice. So, do I get a mystery now? What is this? It's a Mirabilis. Uh, okay, so that's not one of the mysteries that I thought it would be. Cool. Well, maybe I'll find one at this some point. Alright, how about second area? There's a lot I can do here still. Oh, the known unknowns. How about I check that out? Alright, question is, will it let me fly from here? Or is it going to be a dick? I think I'm in the clear. Alright, floating around. How's everyone doing? It is good to be back from the break, let me tell you. I do have to admit, if this game came out like two weeks later, I would still be on break right now. Because the way I was thinking about it is like, breaks are more fun than most games right now, but this game is more fun than most breaks. It was not a very good break though, it was a good break. I think what was really fun about the break is like, because I wasn't uploading, we kind of just got to hyper focus on like, a couple big videos. And be all like, let's invest all of our effort into making like, one or two godlike videos and just see what happens. And then that's how we got the uh, top 10 puzzle games video, which you should all watch by the way. It's not your average top 10 list. In fact, it's way better. Anyway. What the? A print on the ground. Okay, letters must be sorted into one area. We are, there was already a tutorial for this area.
Ah. I see. The only way I can connect them all is if they're all dark. That's funny. I didn't even pay that close attention to it. I guess it's a little different, though, when some of the letters start off uncolored. So, these must be white. That means the ones next to them can't be white, so it has to be black. Interesting. I'm here for it. How about this? Well, we could do just... Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's not how it works. A's got to connect, so I could do something like this. Yeah, my um, muscle memory just got the hang of me. So, A's and B's. I'm not sure how I'd want to begin this, actually. I mean, it feels like A should be dark, B should be light. And I guess if that works, it works. Maybe just don't overthink it. How about this? A, B, and C. You would think they all got to go straight across, but I bet that's a trap. I bet A's got to go, like, hmm. I don't know, like what? This C can't be rounded. I mean, I could have the B go up and the A come down, or I could have the C go around the B. I gotta think about this A, like, hmm. Hold on, I think I have a weird path for the A, kind of looks like this. No! How dare you. I had it, I had it. This type of puzzle does sometimes feel like you have to solve the whole thing at once. Not always. This is a five difficulty. Huh. Well. Maybe I have to think about some different kind of logic. Here I got to think about maybe just the A in general. A and C should be the same color, and B should be the black sheep. Now, I think that means B being dark. But then, what about the A's? How do you, how do you, has this, these two A's, they're like, it's one type per area. So, how do I get all the A's and all the C's to connect? So, maybe it doesn't have to be? Like, if bees were all light, then what about the C in the bottom? Maybe I just don't physically connect it like that, but I think it, it would have to be C's and A's are the same color. Because those, you could reasonably form a path, like, without them touching each other. A would kind of go like this, and maybe actually that's how I should start. A would go like this, so B has to be light, and B would go like this. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Found it. Cool. I should upgrade something. Don't know what. Oh, maybe the Sentinel Stones? Oh, highlight a region. I don't know if I'll do it. Wasn't there like a Sightseer one? Oh yeah, Sightseer Mastery. Since I'm actually seeing those. Alright, what else is there on this map? Well... Well, there's this here in the middle. Oh, uh, rings, 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 rings. On, do all the rings. Quest. Ooh, I level up. I wonder how high some people are leveled. I feel kind of inadequate just at 19. Because I feel like there's some puzzle god just sitting at 100 or maybe even more. Uh oh, I have no idea. Also, what the fuck? <laughs> I did I just notice this now? 
Where? What the hell? It's calling me. <laughs> okay, back to the rings. The goal of the rings is to click in a spot that you can see through all the gold rings, but not any of the purple rings. And here, I'm missing one, apparently. Oh, I'm missing a couple. Oh, let, me, let, me, let me try this. Maybe this one's a little easier. There we go. One I can actually solve. Here. There we go. This one is a little trickier for me. Unless this is it. It is. Okay. Rings over here. Um, I feel like I have to be in a, standing in a weird spot. What? No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. Snipe it. What? Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Nice. Oh, that's my marker? Oh. Ah! Oh, I- Oh! <laughs> it is my marker. Whoops. I thought I got rid of my marker here. If it was just one, I think I would have caught it as the marker. Okay. Okay, well, I didn't know the markers actually did that, though. That is cool. That is, like, really sick. You could just look up and see it in the sky. That is so extra. I'm here for it. Um, Do I go up? Is there something else? There's a four-star logic. Four, four pip logic. It's just a region size, which is actually surprising to see here. Five must escape a little. Three must escape... Um, I feel like it would just make sense to kind of get two out of the way, but that might mess up three. There's no world in which the two goes down, actually. There is no world. Uh, all of that would lead to failure, so not a chance. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So both of these could be filled in. I think I'm just going to five take up the least amount of space possible. Same with six. Like, I think that's just the way to do it. Yeah, you just think about conserving as much space as possible. Do I really got a mega jump to get up there? Or is there an easy way up? Well, I mean, so what, right? Oh, that's a thing. What's up with all the logic puzzles on this little area? Domino Terrace. Two at a time. Ah, numbers plus dominoes. Well, that's interesting. So these all got to come out. It is literally two at a time. Okay, so both 8 and 12 are currently odd. Those need to be even. 5 and 9 are already correctly odd. There's only two other 1 by 1s on the map, so the 8 obviously have to, has to reach this up here, and the 12 has to reach this down here. Now, is it as easy as just taking the fastest route? I guess it is. I think that's just the catch. That's cool. Very clever. Very interesting combination. Okay, so again, the seven should needs to be odd. And the only way to be odd is by doing that. So force that to be seven. And then, I don't know. I think I'm just going to have six take up very little space. Yeah, that one's a two pipper, so you could probably just kind of gun it. Okay, four. They're all surrounded by two by two. So each of them has to get to their single. So this would be that one. This would be this one. Four has to get here, so that would mark it. And four's got to get here. Very cool. What about this? Four, eleven, seven. So eleven is the oddball out. Four and seven are both pretty happy right now. Eleven's got to get there. And I think this is the fastest way to do so. Well, it seems like there's multiple ways to go. But one of these two is the one. And I think it would actually have to be this then. Nice. Oh, sick. I hope this starts... Oh, I imagine this area then is going to be like combination between logic puzzles and a lot of different kind of uh, blocks. Oh, I'm here for that. Oh, I miscounted. Well done. There goes my perfect. Uh, this is 9, this is 11, 
This is seven. There we go. Ten. This is six. Eight. Okay. Nice. Separate eight and nine. Um, eight needs to reach the single, so it comes around like that. And there we go. Separate eight and seven. Eight needs the... Hmm. Oh, some of these are going to be darkened. This is going to be darkened because the seven doesn't want it. This is what the seven is. And then this is what the eight is. Overthought that for a second. <laughs> well, let's see what this is all about. No! Okay, I'm going to super jump then. You asked for it. M? Oh, that was weird. No! Oh. <laughs> Later! What a launch! What the hell? I'm up here. Oh, it's interesting actually all the tiny islands are like way outside the main islands. None of them are just like really high because I guess they don't want you mega jumping. Yep, I'm coming for you. Oh, what the hell? You gotta be fast fast. Okay, hold on. Hold on, let me try something. I didn't do what I wanted to do. Uh, how the hell are you meant to do that? How did I get here? Where am I? Wait, is this going to take me back? Uh, huh? Oh. What the fuck? Okay, that changes a little bit. So, I imagine I got to, like, use the fast travel, then teleport. Let's, maybe, let's see what other kind of weird little fast travel quirks are on this island, huh? Is this how normally how it works? It is. Okay, this is just normal hide and seek. Okay, I expect this to be logic puzzles. I am thoroughly surprised. Was there something different about those arches, or is it just like this island is different? Rules do not act normal here. I'm gonna... Is there really nothing here? I mean, I guess I already found one, but surely there should be more. I'm stuck. Are there any just like in space? I feel like there would be one here. But there isn't, so well done, you got me. How am I missing oh there's one. Uh okay, I'm only missing one. That's less embarrassing. Also there was like one in the tree up there, but I don't see it. Nope. Um Damn you. Think it's over here, possibly? Like up high in a tree? No, no, I don't give a shit about that. I'll come back. Oh yeah, there's an upgrade to make the zone shrink, right? Oh, I need to be level 24. I am too young. These damn laws. Oh, here it is. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Is that a cube? Is there a hidden fucker here? Or is that just an illusion? I swear I saw something here. Maybe it was just one of the islands to the side. Maybe it's outside the bubble just to fuck with you. That'd be something. Okay, is there anything else weird on this island? Uh, well, there's another hidden pentad. There's apparently three hidden pentads. The third one is hidden. Oh, found you. That's dirty. Why can't I click you? There we go. 
Do they do a trick again? Mm, not quite. Almost. Yep, found you. Yep, okay. That one was easier. The third hidden pentad. Okay, I bet I can get the uh, Wandering Echo. Now that I have, like, teleportation on my side. Like, I run here, and then I teleport. Wait, no. Wait, no. Wait, yes. Oh, no! Okay, that could work. Oh, it's up here. I'll get that Wandering Echo in a bit. She sounds concerned. This voice could not be coming from my own head. My thoughts are seldom enough to entertain me. I want to listen more, but I should sleep a little longer. This is a fine place to rest. Okay, the hidden pants head's here, right? Because I have not been here yet. Yeah, it is. Hmm. Strange island. Got you. Got you again. Mm, oops. Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> oh, got you. It does contain the edge. They gotta be very careful about it. Oh, got you. And got you. Okay, nice. Alright, now it's just the echo. Which I think I can do. I just gotta execute beautifully. Alright, so I gotta be sprinting into it, boom, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 oh, per. oh, it's still, oh, no, it keeps going, um, I'm gonna go this way, and then figure out how I can, no, I should have, oh, I messed up, yeah, the play was to do this, because I don't even know where it landed, damn it, what happens if you fall off, you die in real life, so, Little bit harsh for a puzzle game, but you know, I respect it. Alright, here we go. Let's do it for real this time. So here, I have to jump over this way and then catch... Oh, I missed one of those! Okay, well that's gonna be a reset. Unless... Never mind, still got it. Where are you even gonna go? Oh, I'm gonna have to wait next time. Oh, yeah, I don't even recognize this place. It's because I haven't been here before. Is there anything else here? There's a funny little arch. Think this will teleport me? Nope. <laughs> In a way, yes. I don't know how I'm actually going to make it there. That seems kind of tough. Well, no. If I gun for it, I can make it. Yeah, I can definitely make it. So what's interesting, actually... Is that, um, I made it without hitting the launch, so I wonder, actually, if, um, it's easier without the launch. So here, and then just kind of go. Dive bomb? No, it keeps going. Maybe I do fall? Yes! Yes! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was telling me. That's clever. That's very clever. I didn't think actually a chase the orb would become clever. What is this? Where is that? Two out of like 24. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, very clever. What else is there to do here? Um. The quest.
What the? <laughs> Eat nuts. Hold on. The rings are important. The rings are everything. Hey, logic puzzles, possibly. Uh, one second. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, there we go. That was weird. My uh, control got strange. Okay. So these just logics. Interesting. Why is this here? Seems a little, uh, whoops. A little too late game for this. No? Well, I guess it's only the second area. Keep it together. So these puzzles about joining uh, two of the same numbers. It must be. Four's got to escape, so it's 12. Can't connect to five. Can't connect to four. Yada, yada, yada. Keep it away. Yeah, just keep playing. Keep away. Yeah, four's got to connect. 12's got to connect. Five's got to connect. It's a good time. Don't connect different numbers, but do connect the same number. Um, I guess I do have to come down. I don't know. I, I could connect, like, go on a different way. I'm just saying. Okay, I can't connect all these threes. That's not okay. Five's going to come out. Like, I kind of want to just... Do this and then connect the fives like that. Is that weird? I don't think it's weird. Maybe it was solvable both ways. That's a lot of fours. Okay. Um, I'm not sure the best way to go about it. But I'll try this way. I think that's wrong. I don't know how I'd want to actually begin this. Like that, I guess? That's kind of sensible. Yeah, it's very sensible. Multi-area insight. What? Didn't the first puzzle teach me that? Oh, elevens. <laughs> and the sneaky one. Uh, another sneaky one. Always hiding there. Okay, how many is this? This is five, this is nine, so it can't connect there, that's too many. But this is 10, 11. So then 11's gonna come out. This is already six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And then four plus seven is 11. Funny. <laughs> All right. Ooh, rings. Oh, damn you. There we go. Alright, three difficulty. It's ramping up now. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Alright, connect the two black fives. Black five must come out. This has to connect with the other five. So this must go here. I'm not sure if it's meant to go out yet. So let's uh, take that for a bit of a spin. Okay, these fives cannot connect. This has to come out. This five needs to connect. So, I actually can't go five, then five. Because that would make a sixer. And I know this five must go out this way, but same with this way. So, uh, both of these can't be black, which means this must be black. Um, I could have both of these be black, then it would be white, white, and then black. But then this would have to be black. Hold on. This five here. I think this has to connect like so. So it's four, so that means this does not connect. Then there's only one more black. Only one more white. I could do... I, I have an idea, but it's like half of a guess, so I'm actually just going to go with this black instead. That's much easier, because then I can mark this all off. Okay, that much easier. No guessing needed. Beauty. 
Fives and fours. Hmm. Four must connect, five must connect, five must come out. Fours must connect. Um, so I mean this five is gonna connect with this five no matter what. This five has to connect with this five as well, no matter what. So I guess I'll just make them both connect. I think that's the only way. This five um, has to connect with one of these two fives at least. It can't do both. It's too far. Is there an obvious one that I'm missing? Like, not one where it's a half guess. Well, maybe I should think about how this five pans out uh, in conjunction with these fours. It's not obvious, but it is a four difficulty. So uh, think about this. Like, if these two are whites, then both these would need to be blacks. I mean, the four would just be way too big. Um, I think it has to look something like this. Basically, any other route, I don't think makes sense. <laughs> Although I'm about to find out if I'm wrong. We'll see. So don't connect all these fours. Just do that. Hmm. Fucking... In the kitchen. Where do we go? I'm looking at this four right now. I don't know if there's an obvious one or the other. Maybe not. Do... Hmm. So, like, I wonder if these necessarily have to connect with the five or if they can just be on an island. I don't know. That'd be pretty extreme. What about this four? I could go four like this. I could go four like this. I think there's only two configurations for the four. So this is always four. That means this must be a five. This must be a four. That solves itself. Block off the five. Um, four must come out. Five must come out a little. So either four or five has this back area. Like I'm not going to immediately assume that everything needs to be connected to a four or five. But right now it is kind of shaping up to be like that. So... Uh, fair play. But it's not. Aha! These are their own island. Okay, I was right to consider that. Good. Good, good, good. How long do I plan on streaming this for? Uh, forever. <laughs> Until I just drop dead of exhaustion. Or like for another hour and a half. One of the two. I don't want to follow a wandering orb. I will. I don't, I don't know what I'm expecting to do here. What is this cube? What a weird looking cube. Glimpse. Is this a memory puzzle? Ew. It's a memory puzzle. Okay, so of the two by twos, these are all black. What about the one by ones? This one's black. This one's black. This one's black. White, white, white. Black, black. Okay, that's actually not too bad. You can break it up. Because then... Whoop! I got one wrong. How did I get one wrong? Is this... Oh, this is black. There we go. I'm not going to do any of those. That is not my thing. Remember, either you have it or you don't. How about I look at the map? Logic grids. Did I ping right here? Wait, where did I ping? Maybe... Oh, it's up there. Well then. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, no. Didn't say that. 
I can't reach it. My legs are too puny. Let's try from here. KK. Yeah, damn it, chat. <laughs> I meant okay, but three times. This is what happens when you solve too many puzzles. You frickin' spend too long separating white tiles from black tiles, and suddenly, all of a sudden, the worst happens. Okay, let's get rid of these pings. Alright, what's this? It's logic puzzles. Oh. Ow. <laughs> Small certainties. Oh, it's these again. Mark only what is definitely true. Okay. And connect all dark cells. So these two gotta come out. Easy. White's got to come out. What about this one? I'm making it worse. Okay. Uh, connect all light cells. This has to come out. Connect all dark cells. Well, they must come through the middle. The bottleneck. I did know that one already. Uh, connect all light cells. Well, it's got to come through the middle. And this is the only choke point here. Like a half choke point. Alright, ramping up in difficulty. Connect all dark cells. Two choke points. Simple enough. Okay, connect all dark cells and all light cells. So, there's going to be a another choke point? Hmm. Okay, what's given? Give me a second. Oh, uh, no. Not yet. Hmm. I've got it. The water helped. These have to be light. How about you? All dark cells are, have to be connected. Don't know which way that is. But it doesn't matter. Okay, completed the chain. Oh, but there's a lot going on here. Uh, is this a light motif? Is that what that is? Whoop. Hmm, where do I stand? What's this? Only mark was definitely true. Don't make a two by two. Connect all dark cells. Okay, choke point. Uh, this is also a choke point. No two by two. Which means this becomes a choke point, and then these become light. Neat. Oh! Uh, hold on. Hold on. I saw a little bit extra of the line. Is this just good enough? Perfect. More logics. Connect all dark cells. Don't make a 2x2. Two two. Neat. Yeah, I saw another potential light motif down here. Okay, where's the other half? Puzzle. Only mark was definitely true. Connect all dark cells. Don't make a two by two. Well, so now I need a choke point. Five. Must be like here or something, yeah? Must be like on one of these pillars.
this angle works. So maybe it's like this pillar? But there's no lines. Unless if it's like... Oh, surely not. Surely it's not these branches. There's no way. I mean, it is a similar color, but... I mean, come on. Oh, it just gives that to me. Okay. Underclude light motifs. Wait, the first one was underclude? It didn't look underclude. It looks perfectly complete. Okay. Mark only what is definitely true. Um. Hmm. One area per type, huh? Because, I mean, there's a lot of ways I could connect the A and B. You know, A could connect through the middle, B could go around, B could connect through the middle, A could go around. I mean, this can't ever be white, right? Oh, well, no, I, I could do sort of this sort of thing with A through the middle. Hmm. Well, something's got to go through the middle, yeah? There's no way nothing goes through the middle, so that's light. Uh, I just don't know which yet. What about the corners? Do the corners matter? Oh, B can't go around A. Whoops. Um. Yeah, that's funny. I thought there was a row there. Well, that changes a lot, because B has to go through the middle now. So that means A has to go to here, here, and here. And these have to be separated. This has to be separated, so is that. Okay. Whoops. Um, how about another undercluer? Uh, is that, is that going to give it to me? Cool. More logic grids. Okay, only mark was definitely true. Letters must be sorted in one type per area. A must come out. Separate these. All of these. Well, it just A, B, and D must come out. That's all that matters. C and E could just be oneers. That was a close one. All right, what about this? Separate A and B. A and B most both most must come out. So must B continue. Oh, that's it. Okay. Separate A and B. A comes out. Separate from C. That goes there. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Nice. Oh, there's more. Hmm. Well, A has to go here. Because it can't connect to B, so it must keep going. A, A, and B. Okay. Well, A has got to go around B, kind of like this. And because these are kind of choke points for A, it has to be on the side. It has to keep going around B like that as a choke point. There we go. Uh, I think the B's just got to connect. But not necessarily like that. It does have to go here, separate A and C, and then make a choke point. Because, yeah, B could do some other stuff on the side. That makes sense. Uh, A and... A, do have to connect somehow. This is a really interesting type of puzzle. I like this quite a bit. Now, what is the choke point? It could be like zigzag. Wait, is that the only way through, actually? That might be the only way through. Doing like zig. Hitting here. Here, yeah. And then up. I guess that's, yeah, mandatory. Okay, I thought there was more to it. Do I get credit? I got a pillar of insight, but I need more. I need more. What do we got? Alright, 
Uh, only eight. Where is the choke point? I guess it has to be around D, right? Can't go over B. Can't go between B and C. Can't go between C and D. So it must go around here. Block these off. And then both sides of the choke points. Yeah, I actually really like this type of puzzle. Ooh, let me get a little higher. A three pipper. What does that look like? A and B. Where do A and B go through? Well, it can't go through the middle. A has to go around B. Yeah, A has to go around B. So, <laughs> that's a three pepper. I don't know. Oh, another one of these. What is this? The Great Ring. Okay. I've awakened the puzzles. Well, there's more up here. Okay, A and B must go through. So, what I know is uh, there's a two wide choke point at the top. A has got to be on top, B has got to be on bottom. So, A comes like this, B comes like this, A must continue. Looking good. Did I get all of this tiny island? Ooh! Uh-huh. No. But now I might have. No, I did not. There's always more. Where is the choke point? Has to be through the middle. Like that. <laughs> I love how you can click twice and solve a three-pip puzzle. I mean, kind of. This is a really fun area. Uh, let's get this first. Only one remaining. Um. Okay, well this can't be white. That's a trick I kind of already got. Let's, see, let's take a look at all this. Five and three. Well, five has to continue to the right. Um, five can go here. So it could be one, two, three, four. Separate this. Four and five. Five has to expand. This cannot be white. Us all, okay. Okay, so one of these two will be white, so I'll have a section of three. Well, so that means this is going to be part of five, so it must be separate from four. Four and five. Um, they have to be separate, so it goes like this. Three, three, five. This cannot be white, because otherwise it would form a section of four. Three can go up once, but then over once. What am I doing? Um, this also can't be white. It would make another section of four. This must come out once. Separate the two. Make that. Block that off. Um, three. Can't come in contact too much with five. You can go up once, but then this way. Separate the threes. Separate that. Oh, the whole thing just needs to be solved. Nice. A little surprise actual puzzle there. Full complete puzzle. Mm-hmm. Not much explanation there. I mean, you could probably just guess that one really. Oh, 12. How many are there already? So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So one of these two is black, meaning that these two cannot be blacks. Because that would force it to be size 13. All right, what about this? 10. It already makes a size 9, so similar idea. This can't be black, because otherwise each black expanding out would force it to be size 11. What about... Do I have to go up for this funny thing? I think so. Whoa! Okay, this is huge. There's a lot of underclued light motifs. Um. Uh, how do I do this? You know what? Let's think about that later and solve a four pipper. This is the normal puzzle. Connect all dark cells. Area numbers must equal region sizes. Probably taking what we learned and figuring out how to puzzle fi it. The two in the corner. This can't be white because it would force the size of three. Hmm. 
uh, this can't be white because then five and six would connect. Five has to come out. Six has got to go somewhere. This can't be white because then that would merge a five and three. Same with this. So five's got to go this way. Separate it. Separate it. So six has to come this way. That's six. Black cells must connect. Keep bringing that out. Five's good. Connect that. This is a black choke point. Three could at least go here. Three must come out. Another choke point. Three's got to go here. Three's got to come out a little. Keep bringing this on. One sec. Um, let's see. I could do a black choke point here, forcing a six to be complete. Six comes down. Black choke point. Uh, six comes down again. Three and six cannot merge. Got to be careful. So this would prevent that from happening. Three complete. Six complete. And then two, two, three. That was a good one. Uh, can I do anything from here? Oh, God. These are, these are a nightmare. These partial alignments, absolutely devilish. I do not know the pattern well enough to actually get this. I'll just get the cube. Only mark what's definitely true. This cannot be white, because then five would merge with six. Same with this, five would merge with four. Then the five has to come out. Five can go this far, but then it can go once more. And four's gonna come out. Oh, 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 give me this, come on. Come on, you old dick. Okay, I got that whole thing. That was pretty big. Oh, there's another one here. Come on. Oof. Well, it's close to this. Oh, maybe even closer. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Are there any more? I'm free... Oh, a five, Pipper. Nice. It is a regular ass puzzle. Three can't merge with five. Three cannot merge with six. And three cannot merge with two. Three must come out, separate from the two, and be complete. Two is complete. Six can come out a little. Um, Six must go at least here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's as far... As I know for sure. Five can go here. So it'd be one, two, three. And then can't merge with the four. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Oh, connect all dark cells. Can't forget about that. That might have to be important. Uh, Dark cell choke point here. Looking good to me. Good puzzle. Upgrades and mastery. Anything? Hmm. I guess I'll do the Sightseer, since I've seen more of those. Or maybe I should just save my points. Yeah, that'd probably be the smarter thing to do. Is that a star puzzle up there? I see it. Let's do them in order. Ooh. Four, five, then star puzzle. Mark only was definitely true. This is a four, Pipper? Well, I mean, I guess. Uh, this can't be white. One of these two is black. Well, if this was black, that would mean this would be white. So then I'd go ba 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 ba. That's not right.
Five pepper. Hmm. Only mark what's definitely true. Why do I feel like this puzzle was designed by Isley? So, I guess I gotta think about maybe um, the choke point here. Does B have to, yeah, B has to be in the middle. Yeah, B has to be in the middle. So it doesn't matter which is A, which is C. It has to go around like this. So then it almost forms a bit of a pyramid. Oh, that was a three pip. No, I had four. Definitely just disappeared. Definitely was never, ever three until that. Okay. Do I have the mega jump up there? I think I do. What? I want the star. This looks good. Mark only what is definitely true. Connect all dark cells. And area numbers must equal region sizes. Okay. Um, so the dark has to come through this choke point. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is always part of the five. Always. It's always part of the five. So if this was light, then at least one of these would be a dark island. So this has to be dark. Bring it up. Hmm. What else is there? Oh, well, this is always part of the four. Yeah. And whichever one of these goes in completes it. So these two are not. That was a good puzzle. All right. I think I uh, need to get all of them. I don't think I went up yet from here even. Just casually doubling all the way back. Oh, there's a lot of these. Hmm. How are you supposed to do this? Oh, like that. Okay. That's manageable. <laughs> um, connect all light cells. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they turned a maze into a puzzle. Amazing. <laughs> I did it. Well, well, well. Um... What a funny little thing. Come on, give it to me. Thank you. Let's start from the bottom before we're here. Okay, Mark was only definitely true. Don't make a two by two. All dark cells must connect. Well, it starts like this then. Don't make a two by two. Oh, easy enough. Lore. I wake caught within the folds of two realms, contorted by the whims of gravity. I'm stretched and compressed, heavy and weightless. A moment drowns in eternity, an hour gasps in an instant. I fall away from a shattered sky, dragged down by the living ground beneath me. I have memories that never happened of a place I've never been. I sleep. I solve puzzles. I wake. All right, what about this? Don't make a three in a row. Ah, overdragged it. No three in a rows today. Um, hmm. Okay, don't make a dark three in a row. Well, um, so if this was white, then surrounding it, I would have to have a dark three in a row. So this is black. Same goes with here. If this was white, I would then have a dark three in a row down below. So it's black, block the other three in a row. Interesting. Don't make a two by two. Area numbers must equal region sizes. Similar idea. If this was white, both of these would be black and I have a two by two. And then same with the other side. 
don't make a two by two so don't do the similar idea here um and then this can't be white either don't make a t-piece oh so if this was white i would have an upside down t-piece i think that's the idea even though it is right side up i do know that that is forced to flip anyway Area numbers must equal region sizes. Don't make a black T piece, so that goes there. Block the two. Um, two can't merge with that. Two must come down like so. Is there any T piece danger right now? Well, if this was a three uh, white piece, I would have a T piece here, so that must be black. Three goes here. If this was white, I would have another T piece here, so this is black. What else is there? Oh, TPs. More puzzle. Ooh, okay. A lot of things are pretty forced. Okay, I mean, it seems pretty easy so far. Just what we're learning, just applying it. Literally everything is determined except for one cell. It feels a little excessive to have that be a, um, one of the mysteries or whatever, right? Maybe it's just me. Uh, is there anything else around here? Nah, I knew there'd be something. Exactly one symbol per light area. Okay, separate them. So, fours will go either like this or like this, yeah? It's going to be two S pieces, so these two will always be white, these two will always be white. You just think of the two possibilities and then count the overlap. Let's do the this one first. 30 remaining. Only region size is what matters. I'll show you a region size. Nice. <laughs> it's just half a puzzle. Um, but, I mean, this is really helpful for people that don't know these tricks. This actually feels much more of an instructional area. But I do like the occasional ones where um, it's very unexpected. Don't make this pattern. Don't have a two in a row of dark. Wait, what? No two in a row? Wait, how's that possible then? Because if I have three in a row of light, I would then be forced to have three in a row of dark. And if I have an elbow macaroni, I would have two in a row of dark. What? Wait. Oh, well, I can have uh, this elbow macaroni. Yeah, yeah. This is the only other one. I'm like, this is impossible, but it's not. <laughs> uh, I kind of just conveniently forgot the only possible solution. Okay, don't let the five merge with the four. Four can go over one, so one, two, three, four. Don't merge with the three. Oh, now it has to go here. Five remaining still. Interesting. Oh, connect all dark cells. That's the catch, yeah? Okay, so we're chilling a little bit. Bring that out. Looking good. Love to see it. Well, what else is there? I can go up, just making sure I'm not missing anything. That was a three difficulty. Nice. Don't make a two in a row of black. Okay, so whenever I complete the five, it's going to have to like be super zigzaggy, I guess. Hmm. What's the, what's the only way it can zigzag? Well, so both... Hmm, this would have to be filled in. And this would have to be filled in. Or it would be either these two being white or be these two being white. Make a five in a row. So this is always dark, so I can block these off. Oh. Hi Tyler. Just hey. got done rewatching the old turmoil vid. What up? 
Hope the new oh, nice, is nice. manageable and enjoyable. Keep on producing the best YouTube vids. Thank you. Dude, Terminal was a great time. That was a classic. I remember that. Um... Okay, well, how do I not have two in a row here? Or here, wait, what? Is there something I'm missing? Because there's one, two, if I add a white here, it'd be one, two, three, four. And I would always have a two in a row here and a two in a row up here of black. I could block that, but then there'd be another two in a row. Huh? I could go here. No, I can't go here. Could I go here? The five can't be plus shaped. It would be nice, but that's not possible. Yeah, you can't ever, ever have a plus when there's a two in a row like this. All right, give me a second. What are my... There's no drawing tool, so I can't really do anything with that. Um... One, two... Nothing can't be wrong uh, because of the underclued grid. If I place it down, then it's always correct. Right? I mean, yeah, that would make sense. Unless if it's just bugged? Because that's, that's the only reason. Or maybe it's just I'm misunderstanding how it works. So it can't be black. Maybe it's just not telling me if it's wrong. Maybe it's not telling me if it's wrong. Uh, I was used to it telling me it's wrong. Because the only other way I could see it is like doing this. That's the only way. I guess it just wasn't telling me it was wrong. That's fine. Uh, well, then I just marked the rest. Okay. <laughs> uh, how interesting of it to uh, twist the knife like that. Do I need line up things? I think I got them all. Alright, one last little island. There's a five pepper up there. Very exciting. What do we got? Okay, area numbers must equal region sizes. Looks pretty simple now. Three is complete. Okay, good start. Two can't merge like that. Uh, nor can it merge like that. Two must come down. And bam, bam. Simple enough. Uh, this cannot... Mm. Okay, one of these is going to be white. So that the other two... Other one will be black. So these two are never black. Um, well, these are either white or black. So these two will complete both of the twos. So I have to make sure the outside doesn't overload. Hmm, similar idea, I guess. Don't force an overload. Because if this was black, these would both have to be white, creating an overload. So that's white. Don't merge with it. Um, if this was white, then both of these would have to be black. 
Uh, for different reasons, but still, they would both have to be black. Don't merge. Hmm. Okay, so don't cause a tile to overload with the other color. Interesting. I'm not sure how I want to begin this yet. Well, uh, this can't be white, because then both of these would be black, overwhelming the two. And because this is black, the two has to go this way. Merge that. Three is complete. Uh, two can't go this way. Two is there. Five is complete. Looking good. Mirabilis. Will this be put on the VOD channel? No, this will just stay in the live stream section of this channel because YouTube automatically categorizes it, which is cool. Give me this. Come on. Please? There we go. I think I got a little too impatient. Only mark what's definitely true. Okay, well this can't be white, because then all three is have to be black, overwhelming that three, so three must come out. Um This can't be black. Can it? It actually might be no. No, I don't think it would be... I don't think this can ever be black. Because either I would have another black here, and at least more whites in a row, overwhelming this three, or it would be a macaroni like this, forcing two whites here, overwhelming the three, or it would be like this, which would force a white here to block off the three, and the second white here so the three can escape, overwhelming it. So this is never black, this is always white. Can't connect. Uh, let the three out. Three is complete. Nice. Is there anything else on the base? Yeah, usually there's something around the corner. Gotcha. Um, well, hold on. This first. Okay, four. Okay, well, four is either merging with these two, so this can't be white. It would always create a... Hmm. Yeah, it would always create a five. What about this four? Um... Well, hmm. If this was black, then I'm pretty sure both of these dominoes of white would have an additional white appended to it, no matter what the other pieces are. Although, yeah, I think so. This is always white. Oh, actually, how about I think about something a little better? If this was white, then all these would be black over one of the four. So it's got to look like this. Oh, and yes, I was right about this. Just uh, maybe realize in a different way. I think there's just two ways to come to that conclusion. Oh, God, where could this possibly be? Up, maybe? From up? From far away? Like from over here? No, it's definitely not that. Maybe from up. Ah, <laughs> uh, crap. Anywhere. Yeah, it's got to be up. I should just go up. Ooh, um... Hmm. Okay. Interesting. S hmm. We gotta think about where the last white piece is. The white piece, the last one is always in this row of three. Always. Uh, because if any one of these were white, all three of these would be black, overwhelming the three. So, all these are black. Now. Which one is white? Do we know this? If this was white, uh, that would overwhelm the three. So, this is black. If this was white, it would overwhelm the three again. So, this is black. And then this is white. Fun. <laughs> I 
Hey, you know what they say, a broken alien's clock is right twice a day. Five and three. Is this some more idea where none of these can be the black ones? Because then all these would be white over them in the three. So these are all white. Let's see. Forber. A three and a 13. Um, how many is this 13? Four, four, four. Okay. Oh, okay. So 13 is there's already 12. And the 13th one is inside the middle, obviously, because three out of four of these are black. Last one's white. That means all these are black. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I, I marked the corners on accident. Yeah, yeah. Don't get too lazy. Can I see down at the funny shape? No, actually. How are you meant to do this then? What the hell? Oh, up there. Sneaky. And now I just need to go way up. For the big five. After this, there's one more puzzle somewhere. Sue. So, hmm. Okay, what's... Well this can't be black, because then both of these would be white. Overwhelming the six, so this is white. One of these two is black. If this is black, then this is white. And if this is black, then this is white. Completing the six means none of these are, in fact, white. So, these two are never white. And the two can't connect with it, so I mark those and that. Four. There is one puzzle somewhere. Shit. I would like to find it. It is a logic grid, too, so yeah, I definitely want it. Uh, has anyone spotted it? It might actually be on the first area. Because I kind of went through there a little sloppily. I think this is it, actually. Nice. Gonna get hunted. Okay, connect all dark cells. Well, you gotta go through the choke points. And the other choke point. Well, that was an easy breather. Let's go, big completion. All right, take me home. So, I accidentally did a little bit of this off stream, but there's actually puzzles in this area. Um, I guess this is like a mini region. Oh, is there lore? Shared laughter echoes longer. Truth. Uh, there's puzzles upstairs, but you know what? Screw the puzzles upstairs for now. Oh, it's a wandering echo area? Gross. Uh, I'm gonna do the fun puzzles instead, actually. Is there an easy way up? Yeah, there is. Yeah, so there's some puzzles up here that I uh, did. The upper floor. But not all that I did, I think. Let's see. Make a 2x2. Two two. Whoops. Or don't make a 2x2, two two, but do connect all dark cells. Mm, so far, so good. Yep, so far, so good. And then... <laughs> nice. Connect all dark cells, connect all light cells. Don't make it two by two. Okay, good start. Make the choke point. There's another choke point. 
Uh, this must... Wait, what? Huh? Oh, I can make a 2x2 two two in white. <laughs> that explains a little. Alright, more choke points. More choke points. Can't I just make all these white then? No, because I have to connect all dark cells. That's important. Connect all the dark cells. Nice. Okay, I see now. The ones with the glowy lights above them I have solved already. Oh, it's these again! Put the things into a single area sorted by letter. Well, D is already done. I think that's actually what D stands for. B has got to come around. And down. And C is just... Nope, no Forneros. There we go. Nice. Alright, connect all dark cells. No 2x2 two two in black. Um, seems pretty simple so far. Just let them connect. There's a choke point. Here's a choke point. Bring it on out. Block it. Connect it. And I did that, but not this. Okay, sorted into each type. Block off A and B. Bring out A. Block that from E. Bring it out. Block that from E. E comes out. A comes out. B comes out. Block it from C. Block that. C comes out. B comes out. Block it from C. A comes out. Block it from C. A comes out. Block it from E. E comes out. Uh, B must come out. Block from C. C comes out. Block from D. Da da da. Oh, D is on its own. That's good. Uh, B's got to come out this way. Block it from C. Block it from C again. Block them again. Just keep blocking them. C's got to come out. Block that from B. Bring it out. Block that from C. Now, uh, block A from C, bring A and C out, block everything here. Oh god, I just gotta take this super slow. Block C from B. Let's back this up. I think I accidentally pressed something I shouldn't have. A and C most both come out. Oh, E doesn't have anything it needs to connect to. <laughs> okay, that's the catch. Same with F. <laughs> e did not have to come out, in fact. And that is actually the catch, because A's got to come this way, and so does C. <laughs> That's funny. Whoops, what am I doing? Wrong press. Just do this. Bring C out like this. Yeah, A's got to snake around all the way here. And C's got to do a little something like this. And here comes B. Perfect. More puzzles. Alright, a little combination with do two. Block off A and B. C can be on its own. Although, it's not going to be a solo. It's not going to be a single. Bring out A. Separate them from B. Bring out A further. Yeah, three still got to come out. So you bring A around like that. B is going to come out. Don't connect with C. Two is complete. C has got to go this way. B has to go this way. Uh, then I just need a fiver, which looks like this. And two more for this area. Okay, don't make a two by two. Don't connect the twos, it'll overload. Don't connect these twos, block off the two by two, block off that, block off this. Four comes up. Any two by two as well, block this. Two comes over, that's done, block that. Three comes over, that will overload. Three comes over like this, and block the two by two. Looking good. One more puzzle, allegedly. Here it is. Complete the pattern. It's a fun little spiral, I think. Think? Um. Yeah, it's a fun little spiral, it looks like. So it looks like that. One, two, three, four. Bam. Bam. All this, and then... I think it's actually meant to go like this. Like that. There we go. There we go. Alright. 
Puzzle boxes, Mirabilis, looking good. Now, I swear, somewhere over here, there were some star puzzles. I remember walking by an area. Now, I don't know if these were temporary. They were not the one star puzzle. The five star puzzle! And a two star puzzle. I will do them in order of increasing stars. All right, who's ready to see me? What is this rule? Darts count opposite colored cells in that direction? Wait, what? What does that mean? Okay. Oh, so it's not a region of one. It's not talking about region one. It, it says like, um, the arrow it's pointing at says there's four or that many of that opposite colored cells in that direction total. And there can be a gap. So there is one black in this way. There are seven blacks coming down. There are two blacks this way, for starters. Yeah, like P-Cross. There are four blacks this way. There are three blacks this way, seven this way. Uh, then there's also, don't make this weird T-piece pattern. So here, it looks like it would happen, unless if I did this. That's four, or three out of four. Uh, are there any more of that funny little T-piece? It would, I would need a, oh, it would be here, I think, right? Yeah, block off this. Because basically, I'm looking for blacks in between two whites. Or connected to two whites just at all. And actually, it would probably be here I have to stop that from. Yeah, okay, so one of these is black. This is very not a grand S. Uh, do not make a black TP. So this is white. Hmm. Five of these are black. This can't be black. Um, because three out of four of these are black, at least one of these two are black. And because one of the, at least one of these two are, are black, this being black would create a black TP. So that's there. Um... Nothing's ruled out yet. Oh, connect all dark cells, uh, I guess, was also a rule I had to consider. But there's two exits, so consider it connected. Not to think. Hmm. Now... Right now, there's two ways the blacks can escape. One is to the right, and one is down from here. It cannot escape down from here because of this four. There's only one more black in this column, and it, which means it can't be both here and here. So two ways of escape. Hmm. Uh... Is one of them bad? Is one of them... Is one of the escapes, like, ruled out by a T-piece rule? Because say this is white, this is black. This would then have to be black, which is fine. But then all of these would need to be black? Well, so this is always black, right? Can this ever be black? If this is black, this is white. All these are white. This would be white. Well, yeah, then I would have black, white, white, white. So this can never be black. This is always white. Which means these three are always black. Here we go. Progress. Um. Okay, we got the funny T piece here, which kind of looks like doing this. I have no better name for it. I got three of them here. Mm. Are there any other weird T pieces? Mm. So far, so good. Can I escape through here? I don't see why not. Oh, this actually has to be black. Otherwise, I'd have the funny T piece. So, 
cool. What about... This has to be black, otherwise I'd have the funny T-piece. Here, I can't have a black T-piece, nor a black T-piece. Okay. What else? I gotta keep an eye on this 8, but I'm not quite there yet. Hmm. If this is black, I mean, that's fine. This is fine. Everything's fine so far. Has plenty of room to escape. Okay, the 8's fine. The 4's fine. Um, only one of these are black. I mean, that's also fine. If this is black... I guess, I guess the black T piece. Okay, black T piece is actually kind of interesting, right? No black T piece means that, in other words, a black piece cannot be connected to three other black pieces, which means that it must be only connected to two or one black piece. And when you do that, you make a snake. So like the black tiles must be in a single snake. One starts, one end. It's just like one long line. So, considering that, I should think more about the choke points. There is one choke point through here horizontally. And there is one choke point through here vertically. This, when it escapes, will pass through here. And actually, that means this could never be black. Yeah, these could never be black. It has to pass through one of the choke points. Or it could end over here and something else could pass through a choke point. Either way, these are always white. Uh, these are always white. And actually, I wonder if I can do more with that. And be oh, and the funny T piece. The funny T piece means that I can't have a black at a dead end, aka a snake. It has to be a single loop. So there's no dead ends. Actually, so this can't be black. This can't be black. Uh, a can be solved. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to be a loop, which means this has to continue. Um, yeah, it has to. Has the loop. Okay, that actually changes a lot. This is huge. But I gotta still think about the choke points. One of these three is black. So whenever something passes through this, it has to come out on the other side here. So one of these two is black, then one of these three is black. So it's, it's got to be this one, yeah? Unless if there's like a separate loop. I can have multiple loops. Right? I believe I can have multiple loops. Oh, this is a little thing about. Is it one loop or two loops? Mmm. Wow. Um, it connect all dark cells. It has to be one loop. <laughs> Never mind. I answered that for myself. I... <laughs> duh. I was getting a little too crazy there. So, that means I can't just go and connect this here. That means this, whoops, has to come down. These could connect here, but then both of these would be white, underwhelming this four. So these have to kind of continue through here, block it off, block this off. The chain continues. These still can't connect, can't have multiple loops. So this comes down, and this actually satisfies the one, which means this connects here. So now, one of these must be black. Well, I can't go through this way. That would overwhelm the four, so it must go around like this. Um, and it's got to pass up at some point. So I believe I have to go something like 
like over, up, over, up, like that, or over, up, over. That's the only way to get exactly is three. So I'm not going through here ever, which means I'm coming around seven. Oh, oh I, I missed an option. I could have gone like this. Oh, the seven still, what the fuck? What the fuck did I do? Oh no. Oh no, this. What the fuck? Oh no. Oh, no. how did I mess this up? I was on such a good run. Um. Like this? But then I said these two, which underwhelms this. Hmm. Hmm. Uh oh. Um. How can I ever add exactly two to the seven from here? I would go down like this and then this would just end, but it can't end, it, you know, otherwise this happens. This pattern happens. Oh no. Maybe there's some other way to do a seven? I wonder if it's just wrong. I wonder if I have to reset. Cause how about a reset actually with these rules in mind? I can also undo a reset, but um, I think I'm going to reset with these rules in mind. Yeah, cuz this is this is how it had to be done. I believe this is forced uh, just knowing the loop mandatory. If it goes down here, yeah, then it'd have to stop. And it has to be a single loop. So that means it would go like this. Like that. Now, I think from here, I have to maybe consider going up. And not down. I think I had something wrong here. Where randomly... Uh, I decided to go down and then down here. No. That's because of the three. It wasn't random. It was forced. Damn it. It was forced. Uh-oh. Um, which is fine, I think. I think that's fine. Um, one other thing I could do, actually, and I have an idea, is just have this go very far down. Like, kind of like this, actually. You know what I mean? Because then this can come down, however it chooses. And then up from the bottom. I think that's forced, actually. Because that's the only other way to satisfy the 7. And that's what I see right now. And I think that actually will get me good here. Don't connect that weirdly. Satisfy the 1. This has to come down. Now, I'm not sure... Exactly how I'm going to satisfy this. I believe this has to go down just to satisfy the 4. From here... I just need to spend two more up top. So it looks like this. There we go. That was a cool puzzle. That was really cool. <laughs> awesome puzzle. Like the way you actually solve that, breaking it down, super sick. Is this one going to be similar? 
exactly one symbol per dark area, exactly one symbol per light area, area numbers must equal region sizes. So no combining. This is probably going to require me to do math. Um, I imagine I'm going to have to like count this up because this is a 8x8, eight eight, so 64. Um, let me see if the numbers equal 64. Actually, no, no. I, I don't need to think about that. Because it's exactly one symbol per dark area, that means you can't have zero symbols per dark area. Thus, each number has exactly one area. There is no combining, and everything adds up to 64. So, um, what I actually should think about is the far corners. There's only a few numbers, like, big enough to actually reach the corners. Like, 13, 7, 11, and this 7 could reach this upper left corner. This bottom right corner is only reachable by dark, I believe. Yeah, it is. It's only reachable by that. But I don't know which dark yet. Could be either. Uh, the main thing is I have to make sure that the colors do not merge. So maybe I should think about it from that perspective. Hmm. I don't... Mm. If this is white, this would have to be black, and the five would have to go up and around. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think that's fine. Then the seven would just go up. Actually, d does the seven ever go left? Yes, that's fine. Does it, though? Well, because I block this with black. Seven starts going up. Three is like here, three is like here, seven could reach the corner, 11 could come way down, that seems fine. Um, then five is forced to come down, everything there is okay. Right now I'm not seeing anything too forced yet, like I'm seeing a lot of... Okay, this can't be, no, this, this could be white. This would be black, five would come up. White, black, 13 would come down. What's the furthest the white can reach? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's no way this is ever white though, right? Because that would require this. How is this black happen? This has to be black. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's possible. Actually, is it though? Would I have enough for 13? Out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 5 would have to go up in its place. But 7 could... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... I could do that with seven. But then this would be black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This would be black. How would this be anything? Right? Even if I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. But well, this is white. Um This would be black, and this would be white, which means this would be on an island, which is impossible right now. So this is black. What about this? Uh, can this be white? Well, I guess similar reason, right? Seven coming down? Wait, seven can never come down. Maybe that's just the lesson. If seven goes down, this has to be black, which doesn't do anything for me. Well, actually, is it possible for the 13 to be it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That, it might be fine. No, because then this would be white. These would all be white. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I could do four whites here. 
But then consider this shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven whites. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think this is possible for this to be white. This can't be white because this would be black. That would force the 13 to connect. But if the 13 connects, then either the 7 would become overloaded or the 4 would become overloaded. So, um... <laughs> this is black. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be thinking about it that way. I don't know, that's kind of fun. It's, it's definitely fun, but... It's probably bad. Oh, well, seven can go. Uh, disconnect from sevens. Seven can go. Seven at most can go to this far. One, two, three, four, five, six. Separate it. Seven. Seven must come out. Separate sevens. Separate seven and five. Five must go this way. Thirteen comes out. Uh, five must come out. Okay, thirteen must connect to this. Okay, one, two, three, seven. So six more. And the other two are occupied by this seven. So it's going to be like this. Always. There we go. Looking. Fuck. Really? Where did I go wrong? There? Surely not. Maybe. Well, I was just thinking, you know, this three needs to escape somehow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, don't connect the sevens. Seven's got to escape. Seven can't connect with five. Five comes out. Thirteen comes out. It Maybe it is this cell. Ah, fuck. Ah, uh, maybe it is. Can't surround the three. This has to be that. That has to be that. Bring out the 11. Bring out the three. Okay, so three of these four are black. Two of these three are black. And the idea is that at most one of these could be white. So this is white. Yeah, but what about the 13? What about this 7? I don't think it adds up. Uh, this needs to be something, so it's going to be that. Am I going to overload the 11 here? Fuck! Reset. I think this dumb clue that I had was just wrong. I must have read too much into it. Even though I don't see how, I, I must have read into it somehow. Well, let's consider the opposite then. If I'm going to learn anything, it's going to be now. Right? One, two, maybe three, four, five. Six. Up uh, has to connect to something. It has to connect to something. It's gonna be that. Okay, eleven's coming up. Everything looks fine so far. Yeah, okay, it looks a lot better now, actually. Thirteen's gotta escape, four's gotta escape, five's gotta escape. Four is complete, five's complete. 
how many is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 11 is up here. It looks like that. Um, okay, looking a lot better now. I must have gotten the 13 thing wrong. Was this really 13? I guess I just miscalculated at the very beginning. Whoops. <laughs> this was always possible with seven. Didn't I draw this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I went down instead of over. Ah, uh, when I was counting as I went down instead of, fuck. That's where I went wrong. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Well, this five-star puzzle will kick my ass then. Oh boy. Exactly one symbol per dark area, exactly one symbol per light area. Uh, this is just hard one about cracking it open. The hardest part is starting off. Wow, actually. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I see. Uh, okay, let's maybe think about corners or something. What the hell is in this corner? Well, it's not a four, that's for sure. It's either a six or a six. Yeah, this corner has to be one of these two. I don't think it can ever be this black one. Because if it's six, or sorry, white one. It can't be this white one. If it's six whites in a row, then this four is getting the hell overloaded. So this is definitely black, and it's going to connect to this six. It's got to come this way. Um, now, I don't know exactly how it gets there. Um, there's a ton of ways it could get there, but the direction is right. Uh, that does mean both of these are white. Um, which is a really interesting start. Very interesting. Um, well, if I go... Black, black, black. I guess I could have the four, and then the four, and then the four. Oh, <laughs> I could go blacks, whites, blacks, whites, which is fine. So nothing's ruled out yet. Oh, this is really interesting. Can I do more with this? Um, does this... What about, like, this four? Actually, hmm. Doesn't this four have to be responsible for blocking out this black? Well, this five could help a little. But I... Oh, I do know, actually, uh, the six cannot go like this. Why can it not go like this? Because... Then, I would have to go white, 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 which would overload this five, meaning this is white. Now, is it a part of this six? No. Maybe? Maybe. Is that, that's actually a bit more possible. Is it? Uh, hold on. I don't know about that. Well, that means this has to be black. Let's work with that. I'm referring, uh, when I talk about, um, blacks versus whites, I'm talking about the color of the tile. I could use this. So, this white, I'm fairly certain has to, uh, belong to this four, and here's why. If it belonged to the six, it would mean that, like, all of these would be whites. Now, that would mean this would be a black, this would be a white, completing the six, because uh, the four cannot merge with the six. Um, which would then mean both of these are white. Sorry, black. Both of these would be black. So I would have white, 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 black, black, black. Merging a six and a four. So this has to, these have to belong with each other. What difficulty is this one? Hardest difficulty in the game. Ten, five star, ten pip, whatever you want to call it. So, actually, can I do anything with that information? Maybe not. 
Oh no. That actually might be information I can't do anything with. Well. I mean, this four can have three forms. One. Two. Or three, which are all valid, I believe. All of which complete this four, except for this. This piece forces two blacks here. And then another one somewhere. Could be any one of these spots, I think. So that doesn't help me. Um, is this ever black? Or this is always black, right? Oh, well, actually, because this belongs to this, that means this has to be black. There we go. That's the logic. Um, now. <laughs> um, this white has to belong to something. Could it belong to the six? One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it could. What about, um, what about this tile? I mean, that could belong to the six, yeah? If the four goes like this, it'd be like one, two, three, four, five, six. That's fine. Oh, uh, five's got a disconnect. That's important. <laughs> I don't know how I missed that for so long. Um, now this five, I could do three whites here. I could, okay, this is, this is hard to explain. It also might be false. I could do three whites here. I could do two whites and then a white here, or I could just do one white and then a white. Ah, that's actually not an explanation. Hmm. This could belong to either the six or the five. Oh boy. <laughs> I think I need to start moving away from the upper right. I think the upper right is kind of waiting to see what the rest of the board is doing. I really thought I could cascade from here, but I think I need to move on from that. Maybe this five. Well, no, I just, I just worked with that five. It could be three here. It could be two here. It could be one here. All of which are valid. What about this six? Uh, this doesn't have to be black. I could very much be white. Um, what about the bottom right corner? I mean, there's so many numbers close. How about the bottom left? Maybe that's a more interesting one. It could be this five. Could be this five. It could be this six. Maybe a bit less uh, for sure. Well, could it be the white five? I don't see why not. I have no idea why not. As much as I like this tile, this tile technically can belong to the six. Because they can go bam, bam, and then like... Bam. And then one of these two. Now... Is there anything wrong with that? That would make this force to be black, which is like fine. I could just do like a um, three by two, force the four over, 
Mm, everything seems fine. Can I bring the six down all the way? Again, I don't see why not. Actually, how about I start demonstrating? I don't give a shit if I accidentally mark something wrong. I want to show, like, if I do this, this is reasonably valid for now. Because I can always do that. Um, that, 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 that. But, is there something wrong with that? I mean, probably not. Uh, it's just there's so much that kind of comes out of it, and now it's like... Oh, I guess what it does is make this black six impossible to reach the corner there. That's what that does. And the other way, if I did this, I think there was something else wrong with this. Actually, there might not be. No, there's actually nothing wrong with this. Yeah, there is nothing wrong with this. Damn. I'm just checking to see if there's bottom left um, problems with it. I mean, this might just be the solution to the puzzle. <sighs> Do I dare? Maybe. I mean, sometimes you just kind of solve the puzzle and that's okay. Uh, so now actually this needs to be white connected to that five. I mean, sometimes you do just solve the puzzle. <laughs> uh, it's, it's really close. Uh, this six is done. So there's a five. This can't connect. Neither can these. That has to connect there. Uh, three of these are black. One of these is white from up there, which means one of these is white from this. It would then have to be like so. Like so, like so. Yep, solve the puzzle. <laughs> Yay! Um, <laughs> I wonder what the cleaner way to do it was because I just kind of honed in on this. I'm like, yeah, I can do this and I'll demonstrate. Maybe I shouldn't have demonstrated. <laughs> well, it is a fucking tough one, man. Is there a clean way to do this? How about this? Can I go back in time and force it to be clean? I don't know. Can I? Because I had this much. I had this much. Can I force it to be clean? Oh, well, this blocked off, yes. I had this. This had to be blocked off. Where is the cool logic? Where is the neat logic? Top left is one of these two sixes. Because, yeah, it, it could probably be a white six maybe maybe like if i try it as a white six uh shit goes wrong um okay i know that uh two out of three of these need to be white
Oh yeah, this had to be here. That's right. That's what I had. Um, and now I don't really have much. Because I could... Mm. Can this ever be white? One, two, three, four, five, six, or something like that. The top black four is sort of restricted by the top white four, but not fully. For example, it could do this. And then there's still one of these is black. Don't know which. But that's kind of the catch. Ugh. Hey, thanks for five bucks, IE's Arch. Appreciate it. I bet you're the only person in the world that would attempt to beat this twice. I do want to try to beat it the right way. But I do think, like, because it's so difficult, the only way to actually do something to solve the puzzle is by making a move that's sufficiently far ahead, that's like so many moves thought ahead, that is indistinguishable from guessing and checking. I'm trying to see if there's, like, any sort of logic that is far removed from guessing and checking, that's like... You only have to think like three steps ahead or maybe some other type of way of thinking about it. Because it feels like this is a kind of puzzle where you just have to think like seven steps ahead and that's basically a guess. But maybe there's a clean way. Maybe there's a clean way. Um, Maybe the maybe I have to check to see like if the five could do this. Because if the five goes there, then I have an interesting little dilemma. But do I? Uh, yeah, actually, the immediate dilemma is how do I deal with these fours? Well, actually, this six could do just fine. Same with this six, actually. Both sixes, I think, would be A-OK. -okay. But I think that's a, that's a bad play. I think that one's a little too hasty. Maybe something in the bottom right? And... Hmm, there's four tiles I could touch this bottom right. Upper left can only be touched by two sixes. Maybe that gives me a better shot. I don't know, but there's sixes. There's a lot of wiggle room. Mm. I could use insight to see what the logic is. You know what? You know what? That's fair. Look at this tile. No. Why would why would this tile matter? I mean, I know. It, I believe it was black, right, in the actual solution. Because if I mark this as white, I could just go like this and this and that and that. Which, I mean, we're already in guess and check territory. Like, there's nothing immediately wrong yet. So, what does that tile have to do with anything? See? I don't know. I don't I don't think there's a helpful move at all. Cause both ways, you know, you don't really have any um contradictions. Am I going to stream Bellatro on Tuesday? Oh, yeah. 100%. I'm actually... Yeah, I, I can't find the clean logic for this. All right, let's try... Um, I don't know. Maybe something in the middle. You know, one of one of these. Well, I can reach by six, by six, by five. By six, by five, by five, by five. Okay, that's not good. 
I know six has to connect to top right. It's just how it connects is the thing that is kind of undetermined. Because it could go like this, could go like this, could go like this. None of these lead to any immediate contradictions. Like the top right is, if you do anything, it's it works out fine like 10 steps ahead. Maybe bottom right? But there are four numbers that get there. I feel like the left side is our best shot at everything. Okay. Um, maybe I have to... So, here's something interesting about this four, alright? Either the uh, black four is like this. Like this. Or like this, with one of these three being black. Is it possible for one of these three to be black? Like, actually. Does that mess up anything? Like, say if I have this be black. You know, and, and this be the case, right? Um, I would have this. <laughs> oh no, nothing too immediate. That seems fine. Yeah, again, it seems like the only way is to just, like, guess something and then run with it. Alright, let me try something else. Like, what if, um... What if it's like this? Like, what if there are multiple solutions? Will we find out? What does it take to get to multiple solutions. Well, that is wrong. <laughs> so if you think like 12 steps ahead, you find a contradiction here. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure the way I solved it was pretty close to the actual one. Cause I mean, that would then force this to be solved by six, which forces these two, separates this here. Uh, forces this. One of these two is six, but none of these are. I mean, this is what I would work with. Then five's got to do something. I mean, this is actually a point where I'm at another impasse where there's no easy logic again. It's not satisfying. I can check for this. If I wish. Whoops. Well, I guess... Okay, hold on. I guess then the catch is, if this was in fact white, these two gotta belong to something and that's not possible. That's actually the easy logic, so... Uh, we, we know how it goes from here. Been here before. How about I try to go back, see if, um, from here again, if there's any better logic. Like, instead of checking the five here, is there anything better? Because, yeah, that's that's where I was before, and that's how I solved it. It was super simple, like, after realizing that these were um, the thing. You know, w once you do that, that solves the puzzle easily. Is there anything better? Not my previous solution? No, this, this was how I did it.
Because I was saying this can go to the six, and then I did this, and then I solved the puzzle. So, um... I'm just confused on how you're supposed to figure this out. I don't know, man. I did it. Whatever. The puzzle solved. It's a little bit sketch. I should move on. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't find anything clean. It just might not have existed. Yeah, I already solved the puzzle. I was just looking for, like, the clean logic that didn't involve basically thinking 10 steps ahead. It just felt weird. Here, how about I solve this, uh, or finish this on some better puzzles? Thinking 10 steps ahead is fair game? I mean, listen, it's not unfair game, but if you're required to think 10 steps ahead, that's... How is that different from guessing and checking, right? I mean, there isn't really a difference between the two. It's just one goes on inside your head and one goes on outside your head. It's basically the same thing. So I guess by all things considered, I solved the puzzle in the intended way by guessing and checking. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, some logic I already know about just not overflowing some stuff. Three's got to come out, so there's four. Separate that. Separate these. Um, and then this block's perfect. All right, this is pretty simple. Just do this, and then I can actually solve this half. A corner trick. Yes, I've been corner tricking for a while. It has been a good time. Um... Corner trick, corner trick. Oh, I can solve this whole puzzle, apparently. Um, corner trick, bring off the three. There we go. This should get a kick started. Nice. How do I feel about the underclued puzzles? I mean, they're good. They feel not fully unique the more I think about them. Because at the end of the day, sometimes it just feels like it's half of a different puzzle that already exists. But it's not like the worst thing. You know, it's just at the end of the day, I think it's more logic puzzles, which are good. Because, yeah, even though this is, like, the same logic over and over again. Still soothing. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Here we go. There it is. Not much to comment there. Okay, solve the area. What's this? That underclude maze was sick? Oh yeah, definitely. That was a good puzzle. Uh, even a speck of dust has a story. <laughs> even a guess and check puzzle has a story. I also thought like the, the two star one had a similar thing where it just felt like you had to take a bunch of steps ahead and there wasn't anything like hyper interesting about it I could be wrong um, but sometimes like if it's you know super easy to just go and guess it then I don't know maybe the puzzle should have been designed differently and what else is there on this map got this area the center of mines I've not done this Hmm. 
What is this? Wait, what? Wait. But there's a quest there. What do you mean? What? The center of mines. Why, why did it take me here? What are you talking about? This? Oh no, that's just my daily quest. What is it talking about? What, what is it talking about? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, odd. I go to off by one again. Yeah, let's try that. That was a quest to get up to the Great Pearl. It's meaningless now. Well, give me the damn check mark. I want the check mark. You know, actually, now that, um, thinking more about the, um, holy shit, uh, I lost my train of thought. It's another five banger. All right. Ooh. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. It's a big flow free puzzle. Okay. Does every letter have a match? A has an A. B has a B. C has a C. D has a D. E has an E. F has an F. Separate them from the G. G has a G, H has nothing. H has nothing. No, H has an H, I lied. All right, big puzzle. So, hmm. This, uh, this type of puzzle often feels like you have to get the whole thing at once. Hmm. So either E will go around B through the bottom, or B will go around E through the bottom. Now, how about this? How about I start with the edge? I think the edge is the best way to start with this because nothing can go around A. Um, nothing can go around C. Maybe C is shorter, so I should think about that. So C either just takes a wrap around B, which is super short and super easy, or C has to go around A through the bottom, which I think would be ridiculous. Like if C comes around through this choke point, what is H going to do? H has to get out, but then E is stuck. Yeah, this, this, there's only two pass-throughs here. Like, there's only two choke points below the A and at the side of the H. So A or H is one of them. The other one's probably like B. Or E. I am nearly positive this has to happen. It just, it's so simple. I think when usually playing this type of puzzle, this is how I kind of treat it as well. If there's an easy one, you take it. But uh, A, well, I mean, does that mean I take the Ds? Not necessarily. That's less guaranteed. But I mean, it does make sense. B has to come out. I mean, B could go a couple ways. Well, there's G here. So either G goes around B, or B goes over G. If B goes over G, well, then that blocks off 
H. Not necessarily. H could go... Under A, over F, and G, and then under B. It also block off E. Okay, I'm pretty sure G has to go around B. Because then B can just hug the edge. I think this is right, actually. I'm, I'm almost... It, I don't see a world in which um, B goes over the top. It just doesn't add up. Okay, here's G. Uh, next thing on the edge is, well, there's A and there's E on the edge. E is double on the edge, which I think is pretty potent. But I think E has to go under H and A for this to work. I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, if E goes over H and A, well, then A never makes it. So how, how would I do A? A has to kind of come through here. A has to kind of snake around H, though, first. Right? A has to leave space for H. H, I think, is actually going to hug this corner, funny enough. That's what's going to do it. So A is going to come around to H, over F and G, and then down to A. H is going to kind of go like this. D is just going to connect with itself. D, D is just hanging. You can do whatever, D. E can go under A, over F and G, then to E. Uh, so I mean, that just works. Now, I guess I'll start with A? I guess H could go around double Ds. Because A could go like this. No. Right? And then H does this. I think this just works. E's got space. Yes, yeah, the, that's the fun thing. You just hug the corners and you kind of solve the whole thing at once. Can't complain. So, how do I... Is it this? Oh, I don't have that upgrade yet. I think there's an upgrade where if I like control click on an existing black, all the other spaces get filled in with black, but I don't have that unlocked. So I have to do this the fun way. All right. That looks really cool now. Hypnotizing. Sick. Alright, well, hey, I didn't really have to guess and check there. Uh, I came here for the lore. Growth thrives when challenged just beyond comfort's embrace. Any proof by uniqueness puzzles yet? Um. No. No. <laughs> Come on. Yes! Oh, ho, ho. I didn't think I'd actually get that. Okay, I came here for a reason. Off by one again. Where actually is it? Wait, there's rings though. Okay, I'm never going to get to off by one if I keep doing these rings, but I got it, man. Where is it up here? Oh, is this right on the gate? Right? Off by one. All numbers are off by one. Area numbers must equal region sizes. Well, these can't go together. Um, the two and four, they can't both be three because four is already too big. Two has got to be three, though. So, 
3 has to equal 4. 4 is to equal 5, which looks like this. 3 is to equal 4, which looks like that. Alright, cool. Uh, so if it's off by 1, you can't have 5 and 4 be the same number, nor 5 and 6. Um, but the 1's got to be a 2. The 5? Well, I guess that's going to be worth 6. So that's 6. 3 could be that. This could be 5. Simple enough. The, now the 1 and 3 can go together. That can be um, 2. Um, 7, 5, 5, and 3. 5 and 3 could be worth 4. Well, they have to be worth 4. This has to be worth 6. This has to be worth 3. This has to be worth 4. So this is worth 4 like that. This has to be worth 6 like that. And then 3 like that. 4 like that. 3 and 1. They can't be 2 together because it would automatically become 3. This could be worth 1. This could be worth 2. No, this... These could be worth 3 together. That's the catch. 6 and 8 could be worth 7 together. These two cannot. Uh, I'll just go like 6 or something. And have these be worth 7. Good old off by 2 trick. Off by 1 doesn't mean shit. These could both be worth 3, and I think I'm going to go with it. This is probably worth 4. This is probably worth 5. And I accidentally dragged that too far. Um, 5 and 4 can't go together. 6 and 3 can't go together. 4 and 5 can't go together. Uh, 4 and 6, uh, those could all be worth 5. I think that's worth the case. Uh, these are both worth 4. This is probably worth 4, and then this is worth 1. Neat. Mirabelle's. Um, there's a funny pearl there. I want to do, I want to see if I can damn near complete this area. Shattered Oasis. Oh, the quest for perfection. Another one of these. Well, don't mind if I do. If every area has got one of these, then it's pretty hype. Can I get a streak of 25? It's probably going to be way harder here, huh? Like, way harder. Alright, let's see. Where are you? That's not that. Not what I thought it was. That's the obelisk. Wait, am I on it? Is it like downstairs maybe? Must be. That's a match three. Ah, the quest for perfection, a three star. All right, don't make mistakes. Learn or perfect what we know. And don't fuck up. Let's see if I can get 25 in a row. Don't do four blacks in a row and connect all dark cells. Well, um, I guess this is required. Okay, don't do four in a row. So this would make a four in a row. This is a choke point. This blocks a four in a row. This blocks a five in a row. Here we go. This is a mandatory choke point. Block off both of these. Connect all dark cells. So that's happening. There we go. Maybe I can do this perfect. Uh, don't connect B and A. Don't connect A and E. A's must come out. Don't connect with C. A must come out. Don't connect with A or E. E connects. Is that all of E? It is all of E, so I guess I'm going bam, bam, bam. Let's keep going with A. Don't connect with C. C's got to connect. Is that all of C? It does actually look like it, so bring these out. Uh, don't connect with B. A comes like this. Don't connect with B. Comes out. I could connect A here. Technically, don't have to. Let's think about this a bit more. Bring out A. Don't connect with D. Um, D's can connect. And I guess the rest can just be A. Am I missing anything? What? Okay. Uh, it's not letting me flood paint. Not complaining. Connect all dark cells. Area numbers equal region sizes. Bring out the dark cell. Don't connect different numbers. Bring out the light numbers. Don't connect these. There's the three. Two's got to come out. That is 
complete, four is complete. Okay, so Dark's gonna come out through this way, so it is 10. So that's gonna be wrapping around in a very funny way, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna go around the edge. That's six so far. That's gonna go seven. It's gonna go eight. Nine. Ten. Perfect. Don't connect A and C. A's gotta come out. Don't connect D and B. D's gotta come out. A comes around the top. B comes around the bottom. Here's E. Here's D. I think I'm just gonna assume D connects like this and E kind of wraps around. It's definitely easier to assume this. I think it's right as well for B to kind of come around the back side. Looking good to me. All right, got my Mirabilis. Let's go for 25, no mistakes, and then see if anything happens. Okay, C and B cannot be together. Neither can C and D. Oh, D is just in his own world. This um, is interesting. A's gotta come out, C's gotta come out, C's gotta come out. C does have to come out. I think I'll just block that off right now. Bring out B as well. And then connect all of A. Good. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, number boxes with tetrominoes. Connect all dark cells. Area numbers must equal region sizes. Bring out the six. Don't connect with the ten. That's five. This would make seven, so don't do that. Okay, that's gonna come out. Ten's gotta come out. Don't connect with six. Black's gotta come out. Oh, that. Ah, uh, uh, it's locked in. That was um a wrong. Poss it's possible that that's wrong. Well, no. Wouldn't it have told me now. That was a bad logic, is what I'm trying to say. Bad logic. Okay, ten is worth five. It has to touch this four piece. Now. Yeah, it has to touch this four piece. So I guess that this is the only way to get 10. Maybe I was just accidentally right. Six has to touch this four piece. So then exactly one of these is that. These come around. This has to connect. Okay. Oof. Uh, I got lucky. Can I get 25? Uh, don't connect six and five. Connect all dark cells. Okay, three has to touch a five bang or a three banger. Sorry, five has to touch a three banger. But if it goes to the top one, that would be six. So it's got to touch this. Don't connect with six. Don't connect with a big three B. Six has to come around. That's already worth six. Seven is worth five, six, seven. And connect all dark cells. Okay, don't connect A and B. Connect A. Bring out B. It just kind of works, yeah? It's way better to be looking good. Connect all dark cells. Don't make a four in a row. So block these off. Block it off. Escape and escape. Block the four in a row. Um, block the four in a row. Four in a row. Four in a row. Choke point, choke point. Block the four in a row, bring it out. Four in a row. I think I can just do this. Uh, okay, connect all dark cells, block off the one. Don't connect to the three, that's way too many numbers. Three's gotta come out, don't connect with four, look like that. Um, four's gotta come out. There's a choke point here for black. Is it required at least? Six has to connect to this. This is worth five already. Okay, black still has to connect with the others though. So I have to go like this. Bam, bam, bam. Perfect. Um... One thing. Hmm. 
Okay. Um, why don't I have a great start? Let's see. Okay, four and six can't connect. That's my great start. Don't connect to four. Bam, that's a four. Six has to come out. Don't connect to three. Six comes out. One of those. Uh, this has to come out to block it. Uh, black has to come through the choke point. Like that. Block these off. Seven's got to come pretty far. It is mandatory to connect with this three piece. This is worth six. So this is worth seven. Uh, got to go through a choke point. One, two, three. And good. Okay. Don't connect A and B. Hmm. It looks like to me B just has to go around the outside. That's the only way they connect. Oh, I saw this tube oh, banger just show up and uh, I panicked for a second. That was terrifying. C then has to kind of come around like this. You basically just have to see this whole solution. A connects. Uh, don't make a four in a row. It's interesting that... um. Uh, why can't I think? It's interesting that the puzzles in here don't all involve the new rules. Yeah, I thought they would. I thought that'd be kind of interesting. But here, we're going to see some uh, repeats of old stuff, which is uh, just okay. It's not the end of the world. It's fine. But yeah, I was thinking it'd be more stuff like this, where it's like numbers combined with uh, bigger blocks. Uh, hmm. Five has to come out. It has to come up further. Block these off. Bam, bam. Two is complete. Block that off. Two cannot connect. Three is finished. That is done. Block it. Five is complete. Six goes here. Here, here. Perfect. Um... No four in a row in black, but connect all black cells. I'm pretty sure this has to be white. Let's bring this out at least. Let's, let's start this way. I don't, I'm pretty sure this has to be white. If this was black, then both of these would have to be white. And then I would have to go through this choke point, which would force a four in a row. So this is always white. Connect all dark cells. Okay, this can't be black, because then this would have to be black, and then I'd have two four in a rows. This can't be black, because then it would again make another four in a row. Hmm... The connect all dark cells is must be doing a lot of heavy lifting here because I actually don't see an immediate way to proceed yet. Okay, well, this is a mandatory choke point for this dark cell, so this has to be black. So you block that off. And then this continues, and then this has to be blocked off, blocked off. There we go. This is a mandatory choke point. Block and block. Choke point. I almost made the wrong click. Choke point, choke point. This has to come up through here. Block it. There we go. Okay, this is a little bit more manageable. Uh, choke point, block it. Choke point, block it. Choke point. All right, that one took me a little longer, but it's all good. Connect all dark cells. Yeah, this again. Bring out the black. Uh, block it. Uh, choke point. Choke point, choke point, block it. Choke point, choke point, choke point, block it. Choke point. And all choke points. Block it. Okay. Area numbers. Uh, don't overload three and two. Bring out the three and two. Block off two. Bring out three. Block it off. Four must go here, which is complete. A and B. Huh? Um... Uh, 
Um, uh, uh oh. Okay, well, B's gotta come out. <laughs> I feel like I keep creating choke points. Okay, I think I got it. I think I have it. I, I have to do the whole thing at once. I see it. Yep. Looking good. <laughs> the only way. The only way. Uh, that was worthy of its three pips. See, I, I also wish more of these were two pips or greater. I think it's a bit of an insult that some of these are one peppers. Like two minimum. Yeah, these sixes both have to go out. This six, if it goes left, I think that's technically fine. It's just more that even if it goes left, it still also has to go down. So then this three also has to go down. Mm. Similar with this six, even if it goes up, it still has to go right. So then four has to go like this. One, two, three, four, five. This is still required, which means this four is blocked off, which means this six comes around, block that. Don't connect to the four, bam, bam. There's the six, so now... I see a solution, is it the only solution? Yes, it is. Perfect. Check all dark cells. Um, I am slowing down, I don't know if you guys have noticed. But I am hanging in there, it's just, you gotta focus. To not screw this up. And that's the hard thing. Focusing. Don't fuck it up. Um, where is the obvious play? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, if this is the three, I would have to go bam, bam, bam. I would surround the floor. Four. The four would be blocked off. So this is not white. This is black. This has to come up and then over. Four, choke point, five. Okay, do not connect C and B. B has to come out. There's a one star, so don't mess it up. Bring it on out, don't connect with C. C's gotta come out, don't connect with D. Bam, bam, B's gotta come out, don't connect with A, and bam. Is that symmetrical? Eh, in one way. Don't make a four in a row, so it's got to be white. But connect all dark cells. Bam, bam, bam. Block it. Block it. Choke point. Choke point, choke point. Block it. Choke point, choke point. Block it. Choke point. Choke point. What up? <laughs> choke point. Block it. This is a choke point no matter what. So then I block it, block it, block it, block it. Is that Dan? Why are you, <laughs> why are you commenting with my account, Dan? Log out. Two to go. Um, E and C cannot go together. A and D cannot go together. Neither can D and F. Uh huh. Two pepper. A has no counterpart. There are three F's, two D's, two E's. How do I connect C? Oh, it's Ben. Okay, I see. My guess was Dan. <laughs> um. Hmm. <laughs> I'm catching strays for nothing. Dan's also in here. Oh boy, Bo both editors are in the house. I can't choke this now. I mean, the bees should be easy. I feel like I should be able to do this one on intuition, but I really shouldn't. 
I really shouldn't. Okay, E has to come through here. E cannot come through this choke point. E must come through this one. Let's start with that. Uh, can't connect with C, so this is a mandatory choke point. Uh, that means this must be connected. Um, C must come through this way. So... Fuck! I forgot that A was a solo! Alright, well, I'm still gonna get 25. It's just unperfect. <laughs> Damn it. How did I forget that A was a solo? Damn it. Yeah, I hate to see it. Alright, E has to connect somehow. So does C. But through what? Could it go around? Well, D has to connect somehow still. Right? D has to go through the middle. Pretty much no matter what. So I guess I'm always doing this. Man. Man. Alright. Big one. Let's see the 25er. Bring out the B. Bring out the C. Don't connect. Bam, bam, bam. Don't connect to A. We know how this is going. Man. Are these handmade or procedural? I probably should... They're handmade. It doesn't seem like hand making would take very long because they're easy ones. It's probably just like these are the leftover easy ones that they didn't really want to put in the game in any specific part. So there we go. Maximum po possible score. Next time, I will get perfection. Uh, is there anything else here? Yeah, there's the dance of the fireflies. All right, let's go get that. Man, I just started getting nervous, and uh, it all went to south. All went to shit. <laughs> it all went to south. Yeah, same thing. But uh, hey, I mean, twenty-five maximum possible score. Can't complain too much. I do feel mostly good about this. So now, this is like, I think I gotta just catch a bunch of wandering echoes. Like you. What? What? <laughs> what the hell is this? What the fuck? There's so many. Should I try to get them all? <laughs> what is this? No. No. Okay. Alright, this was a mistake. Bring it all back. I will chase one at a time. That's funny. Uh, let's go with this one. There isn't one there. Oh, wait, no, there will be. Okay, let's see where this goes. Cherry blossoms. Up the river. Okay. I assume they're all going to be pretty trivial. Ooh, I can get you two. Uh, okay, maybe not all trivial. Yeah, that one requires a bit of effort. Uh, okay, whatever. It'd be kind of funny if you could get them all in one go. Ah, this again. Wait, no, it's just here. Is that a cube? Oh shoot, where'd it go? I, I got distracted. Well, okay, I lost it. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, there it is. No! 
No! <laughs> Fuck! Uh, next time. I don't know what that thing up ahead is, but I'm definitely going to do that after I chase these echoes. Okay, good. Give me this. That's an end spot. And just a couple more for the Mirabilis. Alright, three more. One of them I should have had, but didn't. Because I'm a dumbass. Hey, where are you going? Am I gonna get it? Yes, I am. Nice. This section is weirdly easy. I'm not sure why it exists, but I mean, at least it took like only two minutes to get through. Alright, so that's uh, 100%. Oh, here's the funny thing. Oh. What is this? Can I interact with it? Find the ancient behemoth who wears a crown of gold. This giant shelters a puzzle box on his belt of stone. However, you will find that this puzzle cannot be solved in the usual way. You must look outside this box and into another? Oh. They're like clue-based puzzles. Ancient behemoth crown of gold. That's not gold. Oh, cool. Stand upon the highest land in the known realm <laughs> and fly towards the worlds within worlds. Halfway there, drop to the ground and solve the lone logic grid in the area. It harbors a secret if all lotuses are rotated an eighth of a turn clockwise. Okay, uh, cool. Okay, these are really interesting. Uh, there's no way I know what these mean yet, but this is like really interesting for endgame. A fallen temple lies in a place of deepest blue. From here, four flowing paths lead you in four different directions. A temple is touched by two of these paths or two logic grids. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to do this yet. I think it's like, that's probably like end, end game for me. Oh, those are the mysteries though. And this is blocked. Those have to be the mysteries, right? For the pyramid? Actually, speak of the pyramid. Hold on. What was this first one? Ancient behemoth crown of gold. The pyramid? It shelters a puzzle box. On its belt of stone. This puzzle cannot be solved in a normal way. You must look outside this box and into another. Is there a crown of stone around the pyramid? It says sheltered, so that probably means covers. But if there's something inside the pyramid, then I can't get there. Hold on. I have to know. This is really interesting. Uh, belt of stone? Is there a puzzle box? I mean, it has a belt. Is there a puzzle box, though? I feel like people would find this puzzle box, though. I, I think... Well, maybe it only appears, like, if you have the mystery? Well, I do not see the puzzle box, unless if it's like under the stone belt. Oh, wait, here it is. Oh, one star. Oh, shoot. What was the rest of the clue? <laughs> Zero through nine. Hold on. Yeah, what was the rest of the clue? Let me read this again. Oh, I can visit in the encyclopedia. Wait, really? Oh, shit. Th 
look outside of this box and into another. So I have to look into a box. Maybe the box, like, on top of the pyramid? Like, do you think that's a box up there? Wait, is that the box? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Where did you come from? Oh, come on. Okay, I can reach it. Oh, hey, there's stars up here. Um, before, I was only the essence of a dream, a half-formed thing. Now I'm awake for the first time. This is the most beautiful sky I've ever seen, but I am confused. I have never heard the word before. I've never seen a sky. And there's star puzzles. I wonder if these are the part of the clue or if it's just... No, these are hard puzzles. Star puzzles! Let's go! One star difficulty. All right, I got distracted, but I don't care. Don't make a checkerboard. Don't make a four in a row. Connect all dark cells. This cannot be white. Uh, block these. Block the checkerboard. This comes out. Block the checkerboard. This comes out. Block this. All right, looking pretty good so far. No black four in a row. So there we go. Uh, block the checkerboard. Block the four in a row. Block the four in a row. Two is complete. Block the checkerboard like this. Block the four in a rows. Uh, block the checkerboard. Mm. Block the checkerboard. Connect all dark cells as well. Lots of rules. Uh, four cannot connect. That would overload. So four must go up. Mm. Okay. Uh, quite quick breather. Breather to think. Oh, block the... Duh. Block that. Only one of these can be white, so this cannot be white. This must be black. Block the four in a row. Oh, hey, that three is complete. Block the checkerboard. Block four in a rows. Block four in a row. Block the checkerboard. The 12 is looking pretty juicy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we cannot connect to these. Uh, what else? What else? I will find something soon. Do, ne do not worry. I mean, the black cells have to connect to the rest, but there's a lot of ways they can escape right now, so I'm not really um, set on any one solution. Damn, I was off to a really good start, too. It's actually crazy that there's a stuck point this halfway through the puzzle. It's probably not that hard. It's probably like a really simple clue. It's just kind of hard to spot. Um. Yeah, uh, all the blacks can escape in different ways. Oh, um, okay, if this was white, this would have to be black to stop the four, but that would make a checkerboard, so therefore it's black. Four comes up. Can I do that again? I gotta think about the nine, maybe? Or maybe 12 has 9. So, I mean, obviously it's not going to touch these three, but I block that. Hmm. Hmm. It's just there's so many possibilities still. Like, I could do a 4 up here, and then could I just do 9 that's disconnected from 3? Actually, that's a good question. Can the 9 be disconnected from the 3? I can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Uh, seven, eight, nine, technically. So, I mean, yeah. It can be super disconnected. Oh, if this is white, that this would have to be black, so the 12 doesn't overload, but then it would create a checkerboard, so this is black. Okay, love it. 
One of these has to be white. So it can't both be black. Um, but one of them could be black, right? Because I could go white, black, and that's fine. Okay, so I have 9, 10. And then 11 and 12 are somewhere up here. Oh, this has to be black. Uh, checkboard. There we go. Hmm. Oh, block the four in a row. There we go. Here we go. Big stuff. Maybe. Uh, the black has to connect. Block off there. Choke point. Um, the nine is separate. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. The nine still doesn't have to connect with these, I think. Are there any other checkerboards? Yeah, because again, exactly one of these could be black. Um, then black could escape throughout here. Well, it's like one of two things. You know, it's either like the nine is just nine. And then all these are black. Oh, well, hold on. Hold on. If I do nine like this, then that'd be a forced checkerboard, I guess. I guess. Is that the only way to do nine? I guess it is. So the nine has to connect. Okay. Cool. So there's two ways for the black to escape still. I feel like I should just start sending it at this point. Instead of just like trying to find the clean logic. It's just more satisfying when I find the clean logic. Oh, this can't be white because then I would either have a checkerboard or a merge. So that's black. Um, four in a row. Do not merge. Do not checkerboard. Guys, b one of these could be black. They don't both have to be white. They don't both have to be white. One of them can be black. Um, okay. But because one of them is white, that doesn't mean this has to escape through here. And this has to escape through here. So that's pretty big. What else? Uh, how many is 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... I think I got it. I think I just see the solution. I'm dumb. I can't count. I did not, in fact, see the solution. I got too hasty. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, cool. Awesome. I think I just got impatient. 42? What the fuck? Huh. Interesting. This is a 10 by 10? Uh, okay, connect all light cells. So there's 58 blacks and 42 whites. Maybe that's part of it? Like, maybe I have to do as many black cells as possible? Because, yeah, if all lights are connected, that would mean exactly 42 are white. So, what is the way to spend the least amount of white blocks? I think that's how I have to think about it. Like, it would mean doing stuff like this, for instance. And this probably does have, like, a ton of solutions. Is there a clean way to do it? Not sure. Maybe. I mean, this is pretty clean. That's a lot of connections already. Yeah, it actually feels like there's a trillion ways. Oh, no. Overloaded. Um. Okay. 
This is interesting. But... How can I get rid of one... Just one... Light square. This is, this is actually interesting, because I think it's actually best to... You know... Just get the red number and then figure out where you can save one light square. Doing it perfect seems like the less least fun way to do it. Um I could do this, I could do this. There we go. Wait, really? Okay, um, Connect. Connect, connect. Connect, connect. No. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what a funny puzzle, actually. I respect it. Wow, what a funny little puzzle. Um <gasps> No, I could replace 3 with 3. Yay. Um Yeah, I'm at 43 constantly. There's got to be a good way to do this. Maybe uh no interesting wait am i at 44 i i don't know let me count five six seven eight nine ten nineteen twenty one twenty two 26, 34, 37, 44. Okay. Well, save two then. Mmm. Mmm. Me angry. Tyler, smash. I. Uh, wow, I don't even know where I'd begin actually, because I mean, like, get rid of two, replace it with two. I can't even save one. Tyler, smash. <laughs> uh, maybe the top left is, I think it's optimal. I mean, I could always do this, but doesn't change anything yet. Tyler angry. Tyler smash. I could do something like this, which is kind of interesting. Um, as long as I figure out how to connect directly to the 42. I don't know. Top entry seems really optimal now. Then I could do this. Um, then I could do this. Uh, how many do I have now? 5, 6, 7, 14, 15, 20, 22, 24, 30, 35. Wait, what? 41? Wait, no. 5, 7, 14, 15, 20, 
24. 32. 43. One off. So. This is good progress. Wait. Um, No. This is really good progress, though. It's close. It's got to be close. It's got to be really close. Uh, that hasn't changed anything. Well, I made the top optimal. Toptimal, if you will. Hmm. You can replace two with two. Oh, I can get the area of the region. Thank you. That's very helpful. <laughs> 43. No more counting needed. Thank God. Counting is awful. I wouldn't wish that on my worst, worst enemy. Uh, one little optimization is really close. Come on, you piece of shit. It's probably really obvious too, but I will find it. I will. Hmm. Yeah, I, th I I think there's gonna be something very fucky. What could it be? I can't do anything with this. Probably not. I could replace these three with one, and then, uh, nope, still 43. It's really close. Super close. I think this connection is actually kind of interesting. Because um, then I could do, nope. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, there's so much to look at. Nope, still 43. Man, this is ridiculous. I see a way I can replace three with three. I can do this. Here we go. Found it. Ah! <laughs> oh boy, that was a tough one. Very cool puzzle. How about the two star? <laughs> all right. Connect all dark cells. Don't make a two by two in black. Well. Um. Wow, uh, I don't have an easy way to begin yet, but that's actually pretty interesting. So I think four has to go here, right? Has to go here at some point. So this is part of the four, which means it's never going to go... Oh, here's fine, actually, because the two can go down. Hmm. Okay, well, this is black.
Aham. I don't think I have the upgrade, Hazel. Uh. Wow, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, well, this is definitely a two-star because I don't have an easy break in yet. Oh, man. What do I do with this six, huh? I think a six could go to a lot of spots. Yeah, a six could like zigzag its way out. It's not confined by simple reality. Maybe I think about like, um, this, this actually can't be white because this would always trap in a black. So this is always black. Okay, that's part of it. Um. Hey, you solved it. Oh, hey. Here's some cash for no reason. Three. Thank you. It does feel good to solve it. It even feels better to, <laughs> to be rewarded with the dopamine rush of money. Wow. Um, anyway. Yeah, this had to be black. So, two... If two is here, this is black. This this can't be part of the two. This, um, then, two can't... Two expands in this way, so this can't be white. Because otherwise it would overload. Okay, we're chilling now. So what else? If this is white, then one a black would be trapped Show in here. So this has now. to be black. Show feet now. Damn it. <laughs> Show feet now. Maybe for a little more. Let's put this here. Um. Okay, don't connect four and six. So the four is like this, huh? Curious. Well. Now what? If this is two, then this is black, black, black. Then the six would have to come like this. Uh, so this can't be part of the two. It uh, doesn't really make any sense. So that's black. Two is one of these two, which means this can't be white. One of these two. Eight must go in, down in this direction. Mm. <laughs> this is a get war of attrition is what it is. Damn. Uh huh. When is black two by two actually going to make a difference? I shouldn't worry about that right now. I should just focus on what's currently in front of me. Like, um, puzzles. If this is white, that's not a big deal? Uh, I don't know. If this is white, this is black, which is again fine. Six. Oh, this has to, okay, this has to, no, six doesn't have to go through here, right? Cam. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh Oh, do I have an easy way to stretch this? Oh, this is OBS on a new computer. I don't have an easy way to stretch this. Oh, sh I can always scale it normally. <gasps> there we go. A touch wider, a smidge. A smidge. Okay, anyways, I did mark this white correctly. This has to be part of the 6. So, 1 2 3 4 could be these two. Could be these two as well. I think this then also has to be white. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this this also has to be white. So both of these are part of the six. Yes, six and six. <clears throat> what do I do? Oh, I can figure this out. I know I can figure this out. Yeah, I love how I still have to get back to the pyramid mystery. I will, eventually. Um, oh, uh, black cell is a choke point. There we go. That's big. There's the two. Hey, progress. Choke point. It's got to come out. Love to see it. We actually got something. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this is a forced choke point now for the six. Separate the six and the four. So, 
So. What else? Hmm. Nothing yet. I'm thinking about a 2x2, two two, but... Well, hold on. If this is black... No, this always has to be black because it's a choke point, yeah? This is always a choke point, so block the 2x2. Two two. Yay, it actually happened. This could be either. Four. Could always come down. Two could do something. Uh, the black can always escape from either column. Feels like a trial and error? I don't agree. Actually, so far, it's been very slow moving logic. Like, you're not having to brute force out, like, seven steps ahead. It is one step ahead. It's just very hard to spot. There's just so much going on. Unless you're saying that's what you would do. You would trial and error. I will not succumb yet. So far, it's actually been pretty clean. No, it's been perfectly clean. Um... How about I skip a little to the bottom? How much, can, how much can I do down here? I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, that would cause an island. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, that would cause an island. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight? At least? Like, I'm pretty sure I have to go through this choke point as eight. That's what I think. I'm pretty sure this eight it has some forcing, because it can't go up through the two and four, obviously. It can't go any further right, so I see six. Seven, eight. Or... Like, one, two, three, four, and then a shit ton. All that matters is that these two are part of the eight. That's what I'm trying to go about. So then this blocks off uh, two. So then this is black. Because um, I can't overload the two otherwise. Uh, this would then also be a choke point. And I can't go through here. Because this, this cannot be part of the eight. And if this is part of the eight then this has to be an isolated black. So it has to go through here. Now, I still have to separate the 4 and the 8. That's actually very vital. So that means this has to be black. Uh, this has to be black. No, this could be part of the 4. This could be part of the 4. No, but then this would be an island, so... This has to be black. Bring out the black, bring out the 4, bring out, separate that, bring this up, and now we're moving. Ooh, we are moving, moving. Connect the black, connect that, don't connect that. Finish the six, bring out that, connect the two, connect this. No two by two, bring out the four. How do you like that? This uh, is a choke point for bl black, which actually forces the eight to be like this then. So it was that. So this has to come out somehow. But I'm not too worried about that yet. I've got a lot of the puzzle done. Hmm. Which will I deal with next? Hmm. Because it could come up through here. It could also come up through here. Oh, hold on. still a bit of a stopgap. Is there any feeling as good as a snowball like this? Yeah, that was really satisfying. That was kind of bliss. Um, but we're pausing for a second. Just checking there's no two by twos. I don't know if I want to do the eight. Six isn't quite done. This could either be black or white. Um, 
Well, I guess this can never be white. So, because either it overloads the six, or it's part of the eight, which causes an island here. So this is always black, but it's not like that satisfying of a grab because it doesn't. I don't really do anything with it. Okay, here's a thought. Um, both of these can't be black. Or hold on, both of these can't be black. Both of these cannot be black. So out of the two choke points for the middle. I would have to choose this one. Because if I were to choose this as my choke point, it would go up, then up, which screws the four. So this is the black. This is blocked off. Four is complete. Okay. We're moving. Um, This needs to go either right or up. I guess I could hypothetically connect this here, connect this here, white cell. And have that be NBD. White cell. Black cell. White, white. White. Bam, bam, bam. Where can 8 grow? 8 has 5 spots here, which could fill it out nicely. Hold on, can the four actually do this? I don't think the four can do this shape. Because then the eight screwed. So there's no way that this is the choke point. That means this is the choke point because it can't be both. So this is the choke point. Lock the uh, two by two. Finish up the two. This is now a choke point here. Lock the two by two. This, um, I got to be careful. Gotta be careful. This is really close. Could the four go like this? Bam, bam. 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 No, the four cannot do this. Um. Bam, bam. Block that. I think I just see it. Please have it not be anything stupid, because I think this is just it. I can't count. There we go. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. I accidentally thought there were five there. Well, that was beautiful. Uh, okay, so the pyramid thing. So let me talk to you guys. Uh, maybe those are just coming in. What I'm doing with the pyramid. So somewhere under the pyramid... I think it's somewhere around here. There is a really strange puzzle. It's a one star. And it has 10 digits. 0 to 9. And the clue is search the environment. Now, one thing that I know is from this... Where is it? Where is it? From the mystery, if you read a memory... Find the ancient behemoth who wears a crown of gold, which is the pyramid with the gold tip. For this giant shelters a puzzle box on its belt of stone. That puzzle box on the belt of stone. However, you will find that this puzzle cannot be solved in the usual way. You must look outside of this box and into another. Into another box. So, I have a few guesses. Uh, there's a box here. Uh, there's a box here, maybe. There's a pretty nearby box. There's also a box on top of the pyramid. Um, and I'm not actually sure where I'd want to begin. Actually, oh, oh, I know it. This is a box. There's a puzzle in here. There's a really cool puzzle in here. Where is it? Which puzzle is it? Which, which is it? Did it get moved? There was a really cool puzzle in this gauntlet. How do I remember this? They have the, each of the digits from zero to nine. Where is it? This one, this one, this puzzle. I have to resolve it because I don't remember how to solve it. This has every digit from zero to nine. So, don't make a black 2x2, two two, um, which would look like BAM, and, but also connect all dark cells. So BAM, 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 connect all dark cells, block the 2x2, two two, block the 2x2, two two, that's fine, connect all dark cells, uh, do that, and then that, 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 
So block the two by two. Block the two by two. Do that. Bring this out. <laughs> so, I mean, how cool is this? How cool is this? So, here's what we got. All right. Uh, the light numbers are zero, two, five, six, nine. Zero, two, five, six, nine. Yeah, 02569. That's got to be it. Oh. Because, yeah, I remember that puzzle sticking with me. I'm like, that is such a cool puzzle. How is every digit? And there's more to it. There's more to it. 02569. It's got to be this. Let's fucking go. Oh, that is so cool. This game has a lot hidden underneath the surface. So that is one mystery. If I solve five mysteries like that, I get to unlock the pyramid. Now, I've only three that even have clues around me, but uh, I guess I'll have to find them more with time. All right, I got to end this on a huge W. That's as cool as it gets. <laughs> That's as cool as it gets. Uh, next time, we'll maybe take on the third area because I think I've wrapped up as much as I wanted to about the second area. See what sort of new puzzles are and... Uh, I think next time will be Thursday because Tuesday I'll be streaming Balatro because that's the day it comes out. So I'll see you guys all then. Thank you for coming out and be sure to watch over the VOD if you missed some. There's been some awesome puzzle solving today. Otherwise, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video.